Mr. Rizzo, barely on camera. You are a mouse gate. I am all on camera. It's the finest of all the covers, mouse Hello, everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delisio. I'm Camilla Claghorn. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Chris Yee. My voice is stuck like that. Yeah, you're... Uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, they tell you don't cross your eyes because they'll stay that way. Don't don't use don't your voice that. like that. You'll stay that way. Everything's going great so far. So good okay. job. People are throwing microphones across the room like they're made out of candy. What? I don't know. No. Welcome to the most beautiful board game covers of all time. Now, some caveats here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the second poll of these we've done. It's okay. probably not the last, because it turns out they're pretty fun. We've done the ugliest board game covers of all time. Congratulations, Melscape. Congrats? Is <laughs> um, sure. Well, we had a good time talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, so today we're, we have 64 games. Now, here's the problem. There are more than 64 games. Beautiful game covers. Last time I was kind of hunting to find ugly ones. Yeah. It was this was not tough. Your favorite board game cover is probably not here. This is, I think, a harder list to do. Like for example, I love the cover yeah. of Three Thousand Scoundrels. Yep. yep. Not in this list. Dominion's not there, well, Tom. Well, no. <laughs> well, you tell me all the time too. You're like that. We need to have a discussion on what the word pretty means because we have different opinions on that. I didn't hear word Tom say the word pretty once. He said beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine. There's a Fine. difference. There's I gotta be really careful here. There's an authority sitting at this table on beautiful. It's Mike Delisio. Well, <laughs> I would be really, to I would be really cautious here that I'm not being tricked into what it is. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Like, no, I'm, I'm backing you up. This is what I'm saying. We have very into a corner. Into where she's gonna shit you. With a knife. A beautiful, beautiful, pretty, sharp knife. Okay. Well. Okay. Anyhow. So I, I, I did a poll on both our webpage and on Facebook. I took the top answers for sure and put them in and went through and looked at the rest of them. And I put in games that are widely accepted as beautiful. There's a few outliers, but here's the thing I'm asking of you, dear people, as you vote on these. Dear sweet people. Vote on the game that you think looks nicer. Do not vote based on your enjoyment of oh, the game. 100%. Please. That's not what this is about. You don't even have to know the game. Right. right. That's right. a good cover. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Vote for it. It'd be even better if they didn't know it, okay. actually, yeah, right? Because then you couldn't so. be biased. In fact, maybe you should uh, try a little bottomizing yourself. <laughs> right. All right, here we go. I'm I'm gonna, try gonna, blindfolding yourself. I'm going to hypnotize all of you. <laughs> Look into my beautiful, beautiful uh, eyes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, a couple of people mentioned sound. We're on overhead mics. Just keep that in mind. That's why it sounds a little different than what you're used to. All right, because there's five of us. Yes. Well, there's no voting yet because we haven't put any voting in the, the thing. Mm -hmm. We're so going to be putting the voting in the live chat. So the first poll is coming up here. Mm. And last time I kind of ranked these games by... You know, I tried to seed them, so right, right, right. I, that's too much work here. Too much work. Out we just got water. back from Essen. That's out all we want. Out of the water. water. Oh, I like really? that. Yes. I made it. Do so here's our first, like, yes. what's our first, our first matching. <laughs> Poll is in the chat. Here are the first two games. Let's Four go. In the chat. Abyss versus Aquatic. I hate this already. No, what? No. Why would you do that? To me? <laughs> <laughs> by alphabetical. Oh. Uh, by uh, by element. Yeah. This is the water round. This is the water the round. Right. Okay, so the actually, technically, Abyss has five covers, like right? five different covers. Mm -hmm. they, but they all look, they're all look, you know, if you don't like that one, you're not gonna like the other ones. Yeah, they have a similar. It's a very stark picture of a of a you know an underwater sea creature. Very kind yeah. of incredible Star, detail. Very detailed. Very moody. There's yeah. just a sort of like a seething look burning into your mm -hmm. soul. Come. Rule the underwater realm. I personally feel there's no wrong over cards. I mean, uh, it's got to be a bit. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm probably I'm going a bit as well. Let me say a word for. Wow, that's not even aquatic. close for me. It's aquatic over a bit a hundred times. Let wow. me say a word for aquatica. Oh, what? Not know. as good as Abyss. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! That's a fake laugh, and you know it. I mean, <laughs> that is. That is. It 100% is. Wrong. I think That's people, unbelievable. Yeah. I think people, you know, the Abyss, it's not a beautiful creature. It's a stern, but I think the art, the quality of the art, it's very is stunning. And I think another thing that I play into if I were one voting on this, which would be Abyss, is how impactful that was at the time it was released. Like that cover was no words, nothing. Yes, it was a very just the image of this right. creature in this world. It, right, that just it makes right. you lean forward, right? Mm. It's kind of like the first. Mm, I'm not going to say another game because I don't know if it'll be on there yeah. or not. But it, sometimes there's a cover you see it and you say, "What is it?" Right, and it hooks you. So yeah. that might have something to do with art. Yeah, I think Abyss mm. it wins for me. Although Aquatic is a beautiful cover. All right, Abyss is out. 
Abyss is out. Aquatic is in. Uh, so is far, trash. I have 100% issues with this. Yes. yes. I have zero faith in the audience. All right, take a look at our next two. This is number three and number four. Okay. We have the second edition of Atlantic Rise, Atlantis Rising from Vincent Dutre mm -hmm. against Batoku. Yeah, this is easy mm -hmm. for me. This one's very easy for me. This one's is it really? Me. Yes. Is it? I, I think they're both beautiful. That yes. second one I would not have considered putting on. I think Atlantis Rising is a clear winner on this. I'm, I'm definitely on Batoku's uh, side. Batoku is fine. I, I, I think, think every other no, cover. No, I was in Yellow's office and they had a poster of, this, of the cover without the word Batoku and I was uh -huh. like, man, I want that. A poster? I, it is. I think I, if, the, I, if the game was poster sized, it would matter then. The I, game is basically poster sized. Have you seen it? <laughs> I think the best art in Batoku is in the cards, not even on the cover. I am vote. I'm leaning Batoku. I, I really, I really I go by Batoku far. as well. Wow. I think what is I'm happening? What is That's happening two for two. That's I'm right, fine. baby. Okay. Right. Have a good day, everybody. Wake me when something good happens. All right. <laughs> Atlantis Rising is great, but it's a bit busy. Batoku is really perfectly serene. I, th I think what Atlantis serene? Rising has, oh, has is that portal, you know, and so so the portal. I, I think that's a really interesting kind of statement piece uh, of it. But okay. Batoku as a world building, like the whole picture and what it brings. I think it's just, it's very lush. I don't know. I you think, too? Like, I yeah, think the, I was, the, I the composition of Atlantis Rising is just, I don't know. That's telling a story. Batoku is, it's pretty, but Atlantis Rising is telling a story. Oh, it's not telling a story. It's not. It's not. That dragon's going to eat you, Mike. It's, well, it's not telling a story. It's got to catch me first, Chris. All right. Like a Pokemon. All mm -hmm. right, let's go to our next round. So far, the people are, are zero for two. Zero for two. I agree. This is a can-can round. We have... The little, for water. the little known but very oh. beautiful Cam and he, another Vincent Dutre yeah. artwork against a game that's literally made to put up on your walls a piece of art, Canvas. Hey, this is another this one. This is a really tough one. This I think these tough. are both gorgeous. They are, but this I know my tough. winner. I know my. I know mine. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are very decisive on this. Yeah, it's, it's, I gotta go with Canvas this is, on this. No, this is Canvas. I'm leaning Canvas. This is Canvas. Canvas. Here's my worry. I think this is one of the cases where doesn't matter how pretty Canopy is, people are voting They're for the game for they Canopy know. Because it's a game about that's art. True. Canopy is a great cut. And that's the thing, is these two against each other is nice. Mm -hmm. It's a nice pairing. Uh, if Atlantis Rising can win, then <laughs> neither can Canopy. <laughs> that's all right. What, are you Canopy against Vincent Detroit winning this? I guess, right? No, I'm saying uh, those two Vincent Detroit covers are like night and day. You know Canopy. He knocked out in an afternoon. Uh, Atlantis Rising, yeah. that's gorgeous. Right. I, uh, this that, is that's close. Really See, this close. is much closer. I, this I, is super close. It may have to come down to a tiebreaker here. Oh, is is a gorgeous cover. I think it, they're both gorgeous covers, but I think Canada. Wow, Hold on, let me go. You better show these covers again, right? Computer. Yeah, look at that. That See, is just so pretty. I just I don't know. I think that the 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 color palette in Canopy is more dynamic than the color palette. I think I think what doesn't sell me on Canopy. I don't love the toucan and the frog. I think canvas. Those the two, word canvas. Kind of, kind of uh, gets lost. I think if yeah, I, I would prefer it if the word canvas wasn't there. Yeah, they're both great, but I think canopy is a better yeah. cover. I also All right, myself. well, I'm calling this one. It's 128 to 121. Wow. Oh. And a to canvas. All right. Wow. Wow. Canvas wins. I am 0 for three on this. Wow. Canvas wins. Okay. Hmm. All right. Can canvas is more it's unique. Than canvas. It probably is more unique. I think that's. Keep talking while I get the next poll ready. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, talk about it. Everybody's been wrong. I'm really? dealing with Vincent the crushing. Wait, are you not happy? Do you want Canvas to win now? I don't care about either one of those. Okay? <laughs> Vincent Dutre is cursing me. Neither one of those friends. is going to go past the next round anyway. Okay. Probably true. But Atlantis Rising could have been a contender. Mm. Atlantis Rising is gone, Z. Could have been a contender. <laughs> Abyss could have right. been a contender. Oh, Here's our next two. Been. Number seven and eight, we have the very newish Cascadia mm -hmm. against... Cerebria. Oh, oh I don't what? know that second game. So Cerebria from Mind Clash has a very distinctive art style. What am I seeing though? It's inside out. They, so these are emotions. These are like uh, it's inside out. It's inside out. Sorry, the, oh. the, the board game basically, and it's, so you've got these different emotions that are represented by these. There's two creatures. negative emotions on the left right. and two on the what right. Like what that, are they? That's what your brain looks oh, like on the inside. Claws. Yeah, no, I I love the art for Cerebria, but I think that this is going to be a very divisive cover. Um, I yeah, mean, I don't know that Divisive Covers can win this. Right, I don't think it's... Funny. I put this in because I think it's unique and interesting. I think it's beautiful. Several people asked for it. 
Cascadia. Also, oh, that's a moose. Oh, it's very so nice. How do you it fight just, against a moose? I can't see. You get in low. I think Cascadia is going to crush it. I don't think this is even by Sobel's best work. I think these I are the two have... lowest so far. Right. Yes, Cascadia is a beautiful so. painting, but it also feels a little boring. It does. It's and, and I agree. You know, yeah. somebody has said that uh, Canopy looks like a bunch, like a hundred other covers. Mm -hmm. I think Cascadia looks like mm -hmm. a thousand other covers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A agreed. I would lean towards, I think, Cerebria. Almost, I go with Cerebria. I almost so. as a point of uniqueness. My problem with that, I wish the background was a little yes, bit different. I, I, Unfortunately, wow. not even close. Yeah. Yeah, I think this Are is you wrong. ringing the votes on this yeah. time? Oh, yes. To mess yes. By the way, um, if, also, yeah, okay. Uh, as a legitimate note, if you smell anything that smells <laughs> oh. like burning, maybe, that's the new studio being worked on. If you guys smell anything, yeah, uh, this That's is more the best <laughs> point for you. The barbecue kit that I set up in the living room. Yes. Yeah. No, I I think Cerebri. Hey, if you guys smell something from over here, definitely a <laughs> <laughs> definitely the guy. Okay, so <laughs> all right, I got to get the next poll ready. So our next poll here um, has two games. One of them is based on history, and the other is based on fantasy. So I'm curious how the how fantasy that will going to win. Well, I don't know. Let's take a look at these. So we have Days of Fire, Budapest 1956, oh, which is a really oh, gorgeous this cover. Easy. This is this is, this this is, 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 is not against no one that Z put up over his desk. No Dead brainer. Man Tell No, no Tales. No no you want to uh, cover that tells a story? Yeah, yeah, for right sure. There. Budapest. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Dead Man <laughs> Tell No Tales is, is this one is the, the the biggest disparity I've seen so yeah. far. This yeah. better be like in the 90th right. percentile over the other one. I mean, it, yeah. yeah. I do like the other one. If like not, this, we're going to reset I think the other one, though, all out. has... Oh, okay, first of all, no, stop these, these are brow beating people. These are two no, okay. I didn't say which one. If I you vote say. for Days of Fire, I will find <laughs> you. No, these are two... This, uh, I think the problem with this... I didn't say which one. I was ...is that these are two very disparate art styles. You know, one is more of almost like a graphic novel type of a look, and the other one is this almost photorealistic action scene, which is right. stunningly well done. It's, They're both very well done. But they're hard to compare to each other. Yeah. It really is. And, 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 the, and the Budapest. <laughs> I agree. The Days of Iron One yeah. tells a cool story. Yeah. Right, right. All right. Well, this feels. This feels. Yeah. Let me yeah. wait. Wait. Before you get to ninety. Yeah. Come he's on, at ninety percent. I think it was close to it. Come on, come on. Ninety percent. We're not moving on until this hits ninety. <laughs> I'm not seeing. I'm not. <laughs> okay. So this next one here. Uh -huh. Mike's going to have a strong opinion, I think, Ooh, but geez, I think what? one of these games is known way less than the other one, but I think the lesser known one's more beautiful. Okay, here we go. Right, we right. Got. Tom is already no campaigning. Screen. He's already politicking here. I am. We got Dive Against Dwellings of Eldervale. So here's the funny That's thing. Camilla beautiful. Dwellings right? of Eldervale is my number one favorite game. It's not my favorite cover, quite honestly. Um, I think Dive is gorgeous. Uh they're both good covers, though. I think I think what died. No way. I mean, Dwellings of Eldervale is a it's a it's like one of those bad posters. All right, we'll zoom up in that Dwellings of Eldervale. Right, really? we don't want to. It's I like a wanna... bad poster for a movie where they're like, well, we have a cast of eighteen people that matter. Put them all on the cover mm -hmm. on the on the poster. No, it's a mess. I don't think it's a mess. I think it looks good close I, up. I, I, yeah. I think the use of color makes every in, in individual thing in it pop better. Right, I and, like it, it. and it is if. You know, it is if you know the game, it makes sense for the game. Because those are the different elements that are within the game. All right, slide over yeah. to the other one, Roy. Let's. I think what Dive does. <sighs> That's such a great. It's a great it cover. It's hard to do water that well. Yeah, so. I, and I'm and I'm particularly drawn to water art. To to, to art that. I water. agree. I also. I have a hard time. You know, that almost always gets me. Mm -hmm. Camilla, you haven't said a lot. Yeah, so what I was going to say was I think Dive, it kind of reminds me of the Aquatica cover we were looking at, mm -hmm. but what it does that Aquatica didn't do was give that focal point of the mermaid coming down. And so I think yeah. the art style of the two were very similar, but where I would lean towards Dive, not just in this matchup, but even looking in the other yeah. other water ones, it gives you that focal point, which was yeah. really, really pretty and well done. I don't think that's the mermaid, way, by the way. It's a woman. Yeah. I, oh, is it not? Yeah, I, it's just no, it's just a, yeah. a pearl diver. Oh, I don't okay. disagree with this one. I think that yeah. Dive is the better cover. You know, Dwellings, it's a better game, uh, but the cover was never my favorite. You have you played game. Dive? I have, multiple times. Mm. Dwellings mm. is a... Try again. It's, it's not... not dive is... Oh, look, I like Dive a lot. It's mm. not better than Dwellings of Eldervale. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on now. Mm -hmm. Even the people who made Dive don't even think that. Right. Actually, they... Mm. I met them at... Yeah. Anyway. Ah. Our next poll, name dropping. Our next poll... 
two bigger games, I think. The first one, I don't know if I played the first one. Let me look at these. Oh, Just they are 13 and 14. 13. I mean, I know what they are. Can I show? 14. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, hey, I have played the first oh. one. I normally show it when you say the names. So we have Equinox. That's the gorgeous redone version of um, Colossal, Colossal, Colossal Arena. Arena. Against Ether Fields, which I want to be clear, I could not find for some reason all over the internet. There's yeah. no straight on view of either field. The only picture because they want to show mm -hmm. off that but perspective. That? But it doesn't look like that exactly in person. That it does not. It does right. not. But it's still a cool cover. It's a great cover, I think. Um, but I also like Equinox. I like that. Did they ever come out with a Golem version of Equinox? They yes. did, yes. We didn't play it? It's so weird. It's <laughs> so already like, lighting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you just I, tell me that's in the Golem world. I'm like, got it. Yeah, I gotta go with Ether Field here I'm on going this with one. It's just well. more. Well, it's different. It the Equinox is. is a cover I've seen on other things. Mm -hmm. Pretty, nature y. Yeah. It's the Cascadia thing all right. over again with a little more fantasy on top. It's, you mix Botoku and Cascadia. Boom. Bam. But when, Equinox. You, but when you see it in person, does it have that same effect? Because I remember being disappointed when I saw it in person. The Ether Field? To that. Yeah, the Ether Field. It's not as dynamic as it looks on the right. screen. Whereas here. Equinox, I remember being in a game store and it catching my eye and me looking at it. Now, I don't think it's a game I would like, but I, like, ooh, like I was drawn in because of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Ether Fields is a more compelling, if that's the right word, it's cover. It's, it gets your attention yeah. a lot more. I a think. bigger swing for the fence. It you is. know what I mean? It, it doesn't have as strong of a lighting on it, but it's. Mm -hmm. It has effective shadow. All right, well, who won this one? I think Ether Fields. It was Ether Fields. Fields. Yeah, all it was Ether Fields. The way. Ether Fields all the way. All right. Our next poll. We're into the E's here. Mm -hmm. Very popular game of which we just got a mega version of. We have Everdell oh against one of the versions of Evolution. I think this is the prettiest one. That's at least what people voted for. Evolution Climate. I got to tell you, going this to one be is a, a slam easy. dunk. Not only do I think Everdell is a better cover, I don't like the Evolution Climate cover at all. I don't like that. I don't really like it personally. I don't think it looks good. <laughs> really? I really I, I, don't. I like it. I think it's a very yeah. interesting Trash. style. Yeah. A bad style. It's a it's oh a tone. My word. It's a tone. <laughs> well, at least you guys aren't opinionated. Yeah. I'm giving it a I appreciate that. I'm kidding around. It's got that like sort of pencil drawing, almost sponge bit. work kind yeah. of look to it, which is right. interesting. I agree, Everdell yeah. is stunning though. I, I I again it's, if it's a cover, you want to cover that. Says multiple things. They both do. There's a volcano yeah. in the bag, the the weird hairy moo moo in the front. Right. Yuck. But the other one's got a lot happening. There's also, a depth of field yuck. there that's, that, that tells a bigger story. Also, yeah. Everdell, and this shouldn't play into the voting necessarily, but Everdell it's, basically was the announcement of a new in board gaming, major, major talent. I mean, that was the game that brought out oh, really? Bosley I didn't to. That was his first. I believe that was his first board game mm. cover that it, I'm aware it's of. It's not, but it's his first, it's the big one. Yeah, because then he went on okay. to do Tapestry and other things. Yeah. Or was Tapestry first? <laughs> I don't remember which one was I think Tapestry I think came after. after. Yeah. I mean, he did some small things like Plane Crafters, like other little oh, things okay, like that. Oh, okay, okay. That introduced me to art stuff. Anyway, continuing along, Tom, let's go to yeah. the next one. Here's ve two very different styles. We plane have, Crafters. We have... What? So Everdell <laughs> won. Everdell yes. won. Everdell did win. Yes, sorry. Everdell won. Um, cute versus weird. And that yes. is... Feudum versus <laughs> Flamecraft. Now this is, I'm going to tell you what, this is tough, because I actually love the Feudum cover. I love it, but I think Flamecraft is good. Have you seen this, Camilla? No. Just, Roy, can you please zoom in? This is, this game is so, the look of it is so unique, and again, it's going to be divisive. Now, if you've never I played Feudum, I want to be really clear, what's inside that box does not match this cover no, almost at all. It's a very dry it's Euro. It's a super dry heavy Euro. Well, the art style is still similar, it is. but not oh, yeah. the type of game you expect right. it to be. That weird monster is like barely in the game. I, I yes. truly don't Giant understand. Giant sock monster there. Yeah. We were talking about that game. You don't like that cover no. at all? No. Oh, I, I, like I have I like no idea why we're talking about oh, it. I like it a lot. I, I think like it's, it. a, it's really? like very, very The thing is with the Flamecraft, I actually, I don't mind Flamecraft winning this one here, mm -hmm. but I don't think Flamecraft should go farther. I love the artwork of Flamecraft. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the cover, I think the cards are amazing. I agree. The cover shows mm. part of a card. Yeah, yeah. I think that cover's I'm, fantastic. You're, you're amazing. <laughs> You've been I looking at Feudum too long. Go back. No, 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 no. Go back to the covers. Okay. I'm, we'll see it again. We'll I think I'm the I'm the No, like I think those three dancing guys, that's cute and all. I just don't I would rather the cover have been just the background. 
What about a big mm. sock monster reaching around and eating the, <laughs> eating the town in the hall? I agree that it's not a good composition. I don't like the white work around it. I don't think works in this one. I think the three figures in front do not do not work with the background. You know what this makes me think of? That weird cover we saw at Essen. With the cool back oh, I know town oh, the two and then the air. frame with the two dudes clearly in a different style. I don't like that composition. I, I agree that it's prettier than the other one, but... Not but in him. the game itself, if we were voting on game cards, yeah. Flamecraft is like that, that, top. With that artwork that they have, and you see it in the game, they could have made a better cut. That's probably, the point. Probably so. Right? I suppose. I don't know. I, I'm, I definitely, do like the I'm definitely the least enamored with Flamecraft. Like, Which is you know, so in the office to me. here. Like, I, I find <laughs> it perfectly so fine, me. you know, but a uh, good matchup. Blood. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, too the dragons are too dragon. There are other cutesy games that you go crazy for, so I just but don't I, get I, it. I don't, I, I, You're going to be really mad when Meadow's not on this list. Mm. No. It'll be on the list. Because it's going to be on the list. You don't know that? No, the Meadow downstream would be. The Meadow downstream. All right. We're at. Two small games here, number 19 and 20. We have Formosa T against the Fox and the Forest duet, which oh. I think is prettier than the Fox and the Forest, it actually. Is. But to Ooh. me, to me, I have faces. a very strong opinion on this one. Hmm. Well, give us your opinion. I right? love that Formosa T cover. I, I'm going to do I Formosa T. I've never seen that cover. I love that I kind either. of. You're looking over. You're looking over their shoulder into yeah. this valley. I mean, that is a beautiful cover. And it's such a limited color palette and too. I, and I love how the wow. sky kind of has that almost, uh, you know, um, toxic quality. No, to no. Me. What do you call that? Like the the pollution, CO two. No, thanks. <laughs> I can't think of it. You're making it worse. What's when you've got the 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 fabrics that are. Quilted. 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 It's had a quilted look. Thank you. Oh. Toxic. Toxic quilting. quilting. Yeah. No, I I think I lean towards that one too, but the Fox uh, and the Forest duet one is... Do you know the art Fox artist is for Fox really and the Forest? Small. Fox and the Forest is super cute. It's, it's but cute, I would say but I like, as a piece of art, the Formosa T. Yeah, I agree. that way. All right, I'm actually I'm glad surprised that, that. that. I hadn't thought about the, that. The I've initial... never seen that Formosa T mm -hmm. cover. I've seen Formosa Flowers. Yeah, because that's a Taiwan, terrible cover. Yeah, Taiwan board game design. Same yeah. company, it's just, yeah, yeah. That's a nothing cover, actually. It's mm -hmm. just sort of like an abstract right. cover. It's not, there's nothing to it. That one's very pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad. I mean, I, wanted, I, did, I do like this to be not, like, all the popular sure, games. Sure, sure, yeah. I mean, it can't be because the very popular games, like Dominion, are terrifyingly ugly. Yeah, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to number 21 and 22. The sequel, Glenmore 2, to Holy. Mm. This is interesting because I'm not a fan of either of these covers. <gasps> I really like the Glenmore one. Because Why do you not like Glenmore? It's, it's I literally would, the thing you just said looking no, over no, a guy's no, shoulder no. into a valley. It's, right, but I think the other one was done better. I think I think I would it's choose Glenmore 2, but... Um, <laughs> uh, it's ironic because it's... Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I don't love either of these it's covers. I would choose Glenmore 2. You would? Uh, yeah, I would. Holy is, uh, I just, it's too saturated for me. It's just like, it kind of bleeds. You don't like color. Is what no, I do you like color. Which we understand that's the point of the game. Yes, I agree, yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> it, it fits the game really well. Yeah, yeah, it does. I just, it doesn't personally speak to me. Correct. I like Holy better. I, I like Holy better. I lean that way as well. This one is definitely the closest vote we've had in a while. Let's take a look at the... The results here. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with either of those. I don't think they'll make it past. <laughs> what yeah, was that, that face? We should definitely have a bis in instead of either of these two. Mm -hmm. That's my vote. Yeah, the fact that Wow, is this going to be a thing the rest of this show? Uh, I'm not salty though, it's fine. Because you, you sound salty. You know, might be a little salty. We can fit in. That's rising. Okay. One more. Yeah. It's close it's though. Close. Let's hang on a little yeah. more. Wow. I'm surprised. Again, and then we wonder why boring covers keep coming out. <laughs> no! That that's is, not boring, one more too. Are you kidding? It's simple. It's like Eurogame the Eurogame. Have you seen it most Euro Euro games game. I like? <laughs> I know, and they sell. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that that seems popular. I don't think it's attractive. I think it's it's just another cover. You know what I mean? I Whereas Holy is at least different. They tried something with a wow factor. Oh man, that's Holy so weird to me that like Glenmore cool. Two is is actually beating well. It's it. close right. though. It is close. Good. And, and I yeah, think Glenmore honestly, just, I think it's even closer. Close. You know what? I was gonna stop it, but it's only four votes different. Let me wait for another. I one. think you yeah. gotta wait. I think this is another. I, I, <laughs> We're not turning this card until, <laughs> until it goes. The votes okay. go the way we what want it to. Thinking, Mike, which one are you leaning towards here? Glenmore. 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 I, but I think the fact that it is as close as the fact that I don't think that people love either of these covers. I guess you're right. At the end of the day, I'm not saying Glenmore by 
by a mile. Is yeah, it definitely yeah. the thing. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, holy is a, it's Hi, I'm going to have crazy. to call for Glenn Moore. It came as close as you could get of within Glenn Barely Moore. So, which one more? <laughs> Glenn Moore 2, number 21. Um, beat uh, holy by 2 1 vote. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. They're tied now. Mm-hmm. But I already called it. No, oh, holy just went up. No, come on now! Yeah, this is your danger. <laughs> hang on now, hang on a second. I can't. Um, Alright, you know what? We're gonna let the people here vote. Okay. Let In the them vote. Well, they will be. Uh, heard. Okay, hold on. Oh, you mean like us humans? Yeah. Yes. You get to break ties, Chris. Oh. What are you picking? Oh. Glenmore. Z? Holy. Holy. Glenmore, it's you, Tom. <gasps> and we're unless we're bringing Roy in on this, too. Oh, Roy could be the Although we need an odd number. Kenny! <laughs> yeah. Alright, Roy, what do you want? Get the car. I want guy. Holy. Oh. Holy wins it. Holy Even wins though I it. love green, I just think Holy's cool. I do love green. I would have voted for Glenn Moore, but I'm on the judge. So that would tie us back. Okay, no ties, no ties. No, the guy in the I, garage does not know the bottom line. Excuse me, sir. The bottom line is either. Bring either in the guy in the car. Sir, which one anymore. do you think? It's all. Uh, they're not going. They're not going, they're not going so which anywhere. Which one? Anyway. Holy wins. Because that's what you voted for, right? You voted Holy Tires. I didn't mean to make myself delete things and bring them back. Okay, that's fine. Well, you voted for you. You didn't want to delete it. No one to shame to blame but yourself. Roy sets the next bracket. Oh, uh. Uh, I voted for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not going to make it through the next round. That's possible. All right, the next one here, one of Z's favorite games. Um, we have... It's going to lose. Uh, number 23, Honey Buzz against 24, oh, Eeky. We're just going by the cover? Yeah, just by the cover. Just by the cover. And we Actually, the inside of both these games is also gorgeous. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the perspective. Oh. Eeky... Yes. I think this is one we want to, both of these, Roy, we want to look at closer if we can. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Let's zoom a zoom. It's a little overexposed. That cover is not quite as bright as it looks to okay. us anywhere on this mm-hmm. TV. I don't know. I like the bee carrying the honey. Uh, the bee yeah. carrying the honey's cool. I like that it breaks the circle. Mm-hmm. So it's like, a, you know, just outside of that frame. I Actually, the frame on this one works for me. As, All right, let's as go as to that one. Craft. Yeah, in like Flamecraft, it felt a little slapdash. Okay. That's weird. I feel similarly about the, the, the two of them. Yeah. yeah. This one is tough for me. I love this color. This I, one is tough cover. for me. I love Iggy. I love this perspective with the sun in the background. It kind of gives you that It gives you that feeling of the busy market without the cover itself being busy. Absolutely. And I love that. And so you feel like you're there with the perspective, um, the head on. I, I just think it's, it's really rich. I mean, it's, yeah. I it think, sells a story again. I, I keep the, saying that. The way that the sky is colored makes it look even bigger right. than if it was just all colored blue. Yeah. Like those layers and then the 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 negative space in the very top of it is. Yeah. Super I got to be honest. I'm 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 already like thinking of many many games that I think better I like better than any of some of these. Co- I, I'm both those covers were nice. I think I prefer Iki, but I'm like I don't think either of those are particularly striking. Games. I think Mike oh, has Iki, offered to uh, yeah. put together the uh, list for next. I time. The I'm telling you, I can <laughs> the rebut I can the rebut from up, the opposing party afterwards. Mike, I'd be happy to. I'll come up with a twenty or thirty. I think are better than some that have been on here. Oh. Dissenting vote. I'd have point. to think about it. I'd have to look, but no. Uh, I don't think that's easy as you're no, saying. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. All right. Well, anyway, congratulations, Zeki, for winning. All right. There we go. All right. Well, next one, we have two games that have similar themes here. Uh, this is number twenty-five and twenty-six. Iwari. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And Kanagawa. Oh, these are both. These are gorgeous, gorgeous covers. covers. These are gorgeous covers. Um, Jeez. I've always thought Kanagawa was one of my favorite covers, and I'm probably going to stick with that, although Iwari is also a beautiful cover. It's tough, because I like the paintbrush on Kanagawa, given the idea of it's in the middle of mm-hmm. uh, being a painting, because the game's about painting, right? It is. It's about right. students and teachers of painting, yeah. I, I, Iwari is a super boring game. <laughs> no, it is. It's an abstract game, right? Yeah. It, but that cover makes me want to play it so much. It's, it's a, a person. Uh, that's a form of a person in the clouds, right? Yes. Yeah, it's like a spirit or something right. like that. Really I'd be happy with cool. either of these winning, but I like Kanagawa. I think I go more. Kanagawa because I feel like I want to keep looking at it and mm-hmm. finding and seeing more to it, you know. And so I keep looking visually, going back as I, you know, look at the screen. Yeah. Whereas Iwari, the the whole hop to- hop half, you look at it once, and you feel like you've seen it, you mm-hmm. know. Where Kanagawa, oh, I keep being drawn back into to see again, like re-experience. Kanagawa, that touch of the paintbrush in it really sells it because you look at it and you really enjoy it and then you realize, oh, this is not only a painting, but it's a 
paint. It's being painted. Right. Yeah. yeah. That gold. color palette, I think, is gorgeous. The yeah. the, the 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 kind of the the peach. Um, it's just beautiful. Yeah. It's just really beautiful, and it's not you. That just. The, the variations, you know, that kind of from the darker to the... I just think that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. Did we show who won yet? Kind of got one, right? Kind of got one, one, yes. Like quite a bit, yeah. All They're right, now... Really pretty, actually. That was a lot closer for me, those two, mm -hmm. than the vote ended up being. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. I agree. We now have a very new game, Lacrimosa, oh, boy. That, we, that we just reviewed, <sighs> against an older one, Leaving Earth. Which is like a stark art cover. It's like a. Um, These are two very like different a covers. Deco, almost an art deco. An art deco I, I'm going with Leaving Earth because I really like that style of art when it's done well, and I think it's done very well here. I like the font. I think you have to play that in mm. when you're looking at yeah, these yeah, as, yeah, as yeah, art. Yeah. You have to think of the of the. I like the composition. I think it's. I don't know. I think it, Lacrimos is a great cover, and it's very striking. I mean, yeah. it's a very very. Um, Action. There's a lot of action in there. It's but I think movement. In movement. It, yeah. Thank you. That's the word I was really actually trying to come up with. But I think Leaving Earth is a really well done. Man, I like both of these a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I, I personally give the nod to Lacrimosa here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm there. There's a lot going on. The central figure, all of the movement around it with the nodes and the story. And then that, that red banner at the bottom that's a little closer to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what seals the deal for me. Because that's the kind of detail mm -hmm. that is frequently not in bright red. Yeah. I think that mm -hmm. really makes it stand out. There's mm -hmm. something almost morbid about it. I mean, and, the, and, it, and it shows sort of a tombstone and a, you know, it's, yeah. it's a little morbid. It's like it's a grave cart carrying Moses, Mozart's Moses. <laughs> yeah, <it's> Mozart's <laughs> dead corpse. And you got to finish the Requiem. Leaving yeah. Earth. Yeah, it's so, such a boring striking and detail. See how yeah. it's childish, but yeah. yeah. All right, well, Leaving Earth wins I'm that one. That's, that's, that that's I'm a bit surprised. pretty close on that one. I'm I, also wow. surprised. That looks like something that could actually be used by NASA. I mean, I think that looks like it a does, professional, yeah. you know, well, with this, obviously, there's a professional artist that did right, this. Right, right. But it look, to me, that looks like it could be used in actual. There are so many covers that attempt to do a similar thing to right. Leaving Earth that do not do it as, as well. I right? agree. I agree. All right. So you're wrong, mm -hmm. We now have a small <laughs> game against a large game. Let's see which one wins. I know Camilla's choice. We have number 29, Lotus, against 30, Meadow. You actually don't know my choice. I I am a huge fan of Meadow and, and the artwork. If it was downstream, I'd probably lean more towards that way, but I think Lotus and the simplicity is absolutely gorgeous. And this is another and issue. The, Go the ahead, color, sorry. that object source yeah. lighting of the, the Lotus flower in her hand, I think is so well done. I hate that this was the matchup. <laughs> this is another issue where I feel like the art in Meadow is better than the cover. Absolutely, 100%. Um, yeah, I don't yes. think the cover is the best representation of the art in Meadow. Right. I would go with Lotus on this one. Really? Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Matt, Mel's uh, game did not make it into this round. No. I got to go with Meadow on this one. I don't like the balance on that Lotus cover. It really bothers me. It is bothering me. It's a bit to the one I side. It. Like, it's oh, so I, annoying. Oh, I, th I I love it. I think it... Does that bother you that the verse, the verse is as close to the Meadow than it is the <laughs> <Yeah>. Lotus? <laughs> oh, that part. Yeah, that that no, oh, that yeah. don't... That yeah. can't change with a box yeah. every single time. <laughs> I agree. Oh, I see hate different. you. It's, it's hard when like, one's a square and the other one's and, like the fox. Or right. there's definitely ones I like better. And uh, as you said, the downstream cover would be a slam dunk for me. Right, absolutely. Yeah. The, it the wouldn't even be a conversation. Is yeah. a better or the fox that's in there. I love that one. I haven't or seen there's the results a couple of the birds. Yet. And the results are... I'm guessing Lotus. I don't know. I think Meadow is I'm going to guess it's going to go Meadow, which I'm also happy with. Right, there's no problem with it. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Uh, right. I, it makes me happy to see the lesser known yes. games making people it. Are, yeah. it means people are voting based on I, art. I think yeah. people are doing a good job voting for the most. I mean, we had a few disagreements. Yeah. I, I think you're doing a great job. Yeah. But we're joking. We're joking. We are joking. Like, I'm not joking. should really, really be job. up there. Actually, I'm not joking about that. They should really be up there. All right. Now we have I'm two darkly about. themed games. I mean, which are dark beautiful. Wing. Merchants oh. of the Dark Road. Against Mysterium. These are both amazing covers. I love both of these covers. Okay. <laughs> well, let's zoom in on Merchant of the Dark Road because I think I think what I like about this one in particular is that I like the the, the campfire in the middle of a dark, snowy forest. Such a yes. great contrast. This they both of these covers evoke 
danger without throwing it in your face, and I really yes. like that. It, it, they are both very moody and atmospheric. A um, wolf in the front that's yeah. not distracting. Yeah. You could almost look right past, or I mean, I think you do look right past it and then realize that it's right. there. Yeah, merchant. Still, use this is like you're driving so to, good. to Count Dracula's this is house so here. Good too. I mean, that, yeah, they're the, both the very atmospheric. Fog. I would. No. I want the poster of this one actually. Yeah, I like both. I think you're right. They're both sort of. Um, I don't know. There's something like both. The, they're both like pregnant moments. Yeah, in that yeah. stillness, that like tension is there. Mm -hmm. I think Mysterium is a little more stylish. I agree. I think I would um, go Mysterium slightly. I, I think I would go Merchants because I really like the use of the silhouettes in it. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's so much going on with so little light in that. Look at how close this I, is. I can see this. this yeah, is, both these, these are, are both fantastic. very good. Yeah, I it's lean, very. Go ahead. Sorry. So I, I lean towards Mysterium because every time I see it, I know it's a still frame, and I still feel movement. I still yeah. feel it opening up. It's really. I don't know how to describe that. That's insanity. Yeah. It's interesting oh, that you didn't sorry. do these by <laughs> that you did them alphabetically. This is a great matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was because yeah. they both have a very. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know that I could have. Well, you could have if you tried. You know? <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna say. I'm sorry. No, I don't know that right. I could judge them from like best. You know, I, I would. Know. Like, I can't seed art. Right. Yeah. No. That's yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's hard. It was easy with the bad ones because like these are bad. I was able to spread them out like yeah. the really bad ones. Right. Uh, uh, These are both. You think you can't covers. predict what people will find good? You mean as well as, as yeah. easily as what people will find bad? Well, I was worried. That, who that was? Mysterium that won that one. Yes, right? Mysterium yeah. did win, but it, that was close. And I, I think those are both great covers. Yes. Okay. Well, I think I know which one's going to win this one based on a previous matchup. Let's go. Um, it's but the flower we are halfway through, by the way, at the first conspiracy. round. No, we have Nemo's not. War against Oceans. Now you guys really said some yeah, mean yeah. things about the I like this cover better than the other one. But Oceans gets a lot Oceans was one of the most voted to go into this poll. I like this cover significantly better than the climate one. Why? I agree. More colors? No, no, yeah, I think this is a better composed cover. Yeah. It's a better composed cover. More ocean life has these very strong striking covers. Right. Volcanoes seldom spew out red and purple and green and blue yeah, all yeah, at the yeah. same time. I don't know much about volcanoes, but See, I don't know. I, right, I definitely, yeah. I preferred the other one over the oceans. I feel yeah. like the oceans one here is just too busy. Like the sky is fighting with the coral, which is yeah. fighting with the animals. Like, and so I, yeah. I lean heavily. Make no mistake. mistake. Right. I prefer Nemo's War. I'm just saying. I was going to say. Oh, we're so, what about there. oceans versus no. Nemo's, oh, yeah. War. Nemo's War? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like Nemo's yeah, War. I feel like that was an easy one, so we just didn't talk about it. Wow. What? Wow. This Thank one. you, people, for throwing these people no. off. I am so vindicated. I very wow. much disagree with this. I, I, yeah. Really? I think that's probably yes. my strongest disagreement so far. I Why think Ocean's really? Island. Why is Atlantis Rising? No, because I'm fine. Can you put those two back in? No, because I like <laughs> Atlantis Rising. I'm, I'm more fine, definitely more fine with Atlantis Rising over Oceans. No, I think, 100%. Uh, this, this was wrong. Got robbed. Yeah, Nemo's worse, better cover, I think. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Gone. Mm -hmm. Gone. They're like both of them, so yes. They're gone. <laughs> also, you saw the behind the scenes. <laughs> get them out of there. There's a lot of things going on. So when, when we did the worst covers, said like, oh, it'd be nice if, you know, this, that, and the other. Roy is running like a thousand things. Oh, he's yeah. a yeah. million things he's running. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so. If, if not everything is perfect, if you wish that we could sit on the pictures a little bit longer, Roy is doing a lot back there. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, let's go to a very heavy game against a uh, game we're going to play live here at some point in the future. Mm. So we got On Mars oh. versus On the Underground. Ooh. Okay, now, I can't see you guys, you know, hating on Holy and liking this. No, no, I, to me, this to me, this is, I very much prefer On Mars. Really? I, I love, I, I like On Mars, I think it's great, but On the Underground is so pretty. I think it's a neat cover, I don't, yeah, no, I think On Mars is one of the best covers in the last, I don't know how many years. I think On Mars is a... Gorgeous, striking cover. You want to talk about something that's going to get your attention? That is a movie poster, a hundred percent. Right, right. I think the same thing about On the Underground, though. I and I really am split on this one. I think I'll be happy either way. I think On the Under Underground is very. It, it's a style, and it owns it. It, mm -hmm. it you know, where Holy was so busy all over. I think that white banner on top and on bottom really okay. brings the the balance to this one and doesn't make it overwhelming. The use of the negative space with the title, I really think On the Underground uh, does 
bright very well. Can you bring that back I, up I again for a second? That. I, that's the uh, difference. For no, me. if you can't, don't worry about it. Is the white banners? Yes. And is, the... It, it gives it room to breathe, and the the very colorful yeah. parts are then um, they stand out more, and they're more exciting. Yeah. I just think that it's impressive that you know, obviously, in a game about Mars, you're going to have to have red as the predominant color. But I think that that one handles it so well, where it doesn't look like. I, I just think that's a perfect. I don't know. Just the composition of that is just so. There's good. a deep yeah, there is. redness to that that doesn't seem garish, as childish, You're right? Or garish. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's a stunning. Also stunning impressive. Color. It does red and green without looking like Christmas. Right. Yeah. Like that's that's kudos. Mm-hmm. All right. Down to a, a bit smaller of games or medium games, we have. 100 Tory mm -hmm. against Parks. <sighs> I, hmm. I, I have opinions, yeah. I think the one. I don't know how you would. Mike's like, I have opinions. Yeah. I think that the 100 Tory is too framed. It's too boxed yeah. in, right? I, I yeah. Think so. Yeah, I, I. Again, this is another one where having two two of my favorite covers of, of the last few years uh, back to back. I knew you liked 100 um, Tory. No, no. It's Parks. I, I oh, love Parks. Really? Love the cover of Parks. I am very annoyed about this anti Vincent Dutre thing that's going on I here. I think Vincent Dutre. This I is agree. my favorite. What's happening? Movie. He keeps getting whooped left and right. I'm Which gets me sorry. Annoyed. No. <laughs> this is my, this is not my favorite. Vincent Dutre I have a cover. question for you, Tom. Are there any games that haven't been released yet that are on this list? I don't think so. Okay. Just you can say the name of the game. Let's be more direct. Did weather After us? Get on what? No, uh, unconscious mind. Yeah, that to me. That, uh, that no, 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 no. <laughs> that's maybe my favorite cover. Yeah. Um, actually, oh, that's okay. So the answer to your question is yes, but not unconscious mind wow. because oh. unconscious oh. mind might be my favorite cover of all time. That, that I agree. Be, <laughs> that yeah, may that. be my favorite cover yeah. ever. Yeah. Um, to these two, I, I meanwhile it's not even close. Yeah. Parks is whooping up oh, on oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, Parks on is, Mars is still winning too, though. Yeah. To but Parks is, is mutilating. But, oh, it's not mutilating. It's seventy-two percent, but that's still pretty that's strong. Yeah. That's that's mutilation. Again, that's a particular style of art. The the the, the, the fifty-one. Parks did. I can't remember what it's called. There's a name yeah. for that style of art. It's just oh. done so well. I I would like the hundred Tory more. If not for that framing, I think that framing you haven't said a word on this one, constricts it too much for me. I like both. I think Parks had style of the the Parks posters, mm -hmm. the Fifty Nine Parks mm -hmm. posters. Fifty Nine Parks, yeah. It's stunning. I mean, mm -hmm. there's something about that that feels timeless. That yeah. is uh, extremely clean. They're very well composed. None of this Lotus crap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> With you and anti Lotus, that's a great cover. It's a great cover. I just, I mean, I, I don't know. I like uh, compositions that are well put together and feel balanced. I, I think, think it's funny no matter what amazing. happens. No one's gonna be happy with the winner. <laughs> well, it's so funny because someone in the chat says something that I agree with. Uh, that that hundred Tory. I think there are multiple Vincent Dutre covers that are better than that. One. I agree. Yeah, yeah I agree oh, for sure. That. Okay. Well, we are now going to science here. We Ooh. have photosynthesis against. Planetarium. Oh, Ooh. wow. Whoa. Now, Planetarium is, I think it's a game I haven't even played. I have not played But that is an amazing cool cover. Wow. Gorgeous cover. I don't cover. recognize that cover, but that's stunning. I love that I, cover, yeah. I hate photosynthesis. I yeah. don't <laughs> like the game. I think it looks good and everything, but the cover is the best part. And it, it is, is. In almost any other matchup, I would say photosynthesis in a heartbeat. Right. But, but that wow. That Planetarium is a beautiful cover. That's that insane. That's so talking about movie posters. Yeah. Right. Wow. That looks almost That's computer fantastic. generated, though, doesn't it? It can't be. Yeah, yeah maybe. You guys suppose it could be. AI generated art. Right. I should oh, have stuck one of those in here and made up cover. Let's not get into that. I would go planetarium for sure, though. Well, you know what? Yeah. So would everybody else. Mm. I think that was a cool That's one. good. I'm glad. It also I'm... really stands out in the space. You know, yeah. I mean, space games are usually, not, not usually, there's a certain look. I feel like this one really stands out. That's that another one genre. where I think the font helped, too. I think that that was a perfect match of font. Right, it's a good font. Mm -hmm. Small yes. title that really works and kind of draws you in. Right. The giant planet seems even bigger by comparison. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's true. Yeah. Right? It gave us yeah. a nice scale, right? Yeah, it's yeah. insanely well mm -hmm. done. I think you guys are not going to be as thrilled with these next two choices. Mm -hmm. I hate both. Just delete them. Get them out of here. Uh, first is Res Arcana <laughs> oh. against Rising Sun. Okay. No, no, these, again, okay. a lot of people like both of these. Yeah. Uh, Res Arcana, for me, once I played the game, I don't like it as much because the cover is made up of a bunch of art from cards. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Rising it's Sun is bad. Style. It's that bad poster thing mm -hmm. of like, well, take all the actors and like a good looking shot from the movie and put a bunch of heads together. Yeah, I think that Res Arcana is one of the more generic looking covers yeah. I've seen. I dis I actively dislike that cover. I'm yeah. not a fan of it. I think they could have eased off. Take your mm -hmm. foot off the gas on that one. Have her in the center. Ease up with the rest of this noise. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that would have been better, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think either of these are making it past this round. I, I do like the Rising Sun one, though. I do like kind of that muted background where, mm -hmm. you know, you're talking about Res Arcana, how she needed to be bigger and more of a focal. Right. Rising Sun did that very thing you were saying very well. You Muting the background, you had the proportions right, that stuff. So I think it's generally why I like the cover more. I think it's prettier, but it's also more striking because of that. It's much yeah. more balanced. I like it more I than the other one. This. I don't mm -hmm. really like it, though. The Rising Sun. I cover. wondered... I wondered about that myself, like that. Mm -hmm. um, well, anyway, congratulations, Rising Sun. You're moving on to round two! And, and, enjoy and just last. round two. Right. Yeah. Interesting that Rising Sun is the only of the three of that series. So far. Blood, well, we well, well, we already got Blood Bees. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Oh, so that, logic and alphabetism are... Mm. <laughs> you got alphabetized, Tom. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, here's another Vincent to Drake cover that I think won't make it. better make it. It's Rising Five. Oh. Ooh, this is a rough match. Against Rococo. To me, no. To, to me, I, I much prefer the Rising 5 cover. <gasps> Do you? I, yes. I, I as well. I love I it to do trade, but, love. That's but that like, Rococo angle, I think, is fantastic. It's a, it's it's so a very elegant. bold choice, and I do like the color in the background. I think you know, Tool is obviously remarkably talented, but I... I, I, I hey, you're voting against Eno Tool? I am. Oh. In this case, I am. I love that Rising 5 cover. I always have. I think Eno Tool is the modern Vincent Dutrait in that <laughs> sense of like a few oh, you're years... Oh, serious? I'm serious. Yeah. A few years ago, if you had said, like, who makes some of the most striking covers? Mm. Vincent Dutrait, 100%. Okay. Yeah. I think you know Tool is just he's he's um, a lot of people's like pet art. Uh, is that the right word? Like yeah, he's my pet the, artist. He's such a different style too. It's I, I I agree with your sentiment, but they have very different styles. One hundred percent. Just in in terms of public regard. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Rococo slam. I'm really surprised. Bolder. They tend to be bolder. You yeah. know, Tool covers. Well, they're more they're more graphic design. Like he doesn't yeah. call I'm himself an illustrator. Did anyone for, see yeah. who won there? Yeah, this was, was not even close. Rococo 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 Rococo. I would have been very happy with either. Honestly, see, I, I think they're both. Rising Five is so exciting. Yeah. yeah. Old sci-fi kind of throwback. Mm -hmm. Dutrait's mm -hmm. style is so perfect for that. Yeah. yeah. I find uh, Rococo a little like I guess overexposed almost. You know, or over. Mm. It's just it's too it's it's a little it's a little flat for me. I love the angle. Love love the yeah. angle of perspective, and it does kind of bring that dance feel to it but I think putting the rising five it is exciting it also has a very similar angle actually right kind of mm -hmm. looking down as they're coming up over the rock but I think yeah. it was that was very easy for me rising five over Rococo but it wasn't an easy pick what's with the Vin I agree with you there's no Vincent Dutrait games that have made it through yet right no, I'm kind of crazy well let's see what happens here I'm, I'm not okay two with this. very okay. different art styles are they yeah. both Vincent Dutrait because then he can get through Root and Sagrada this one this is the biggest disparity for me so far yeah, but you are like so. Tom, I don't mm. care. I mean, it, this it's we're talking art. This no, but is you, your opinion. I, I, know, I think I get Kyle that. You love has some of the best art. As I say, you game. love his art. That's I what I love the root cover. I find Sagrada. Sagrada, I guess, doesn't do for me like Holy did not do for mm. y'all. It is so busy to me. It is so overwhelming. I I actively dislike. When you Sagrada go into a church, are you like ah oh, the stained glass? Like a vampire. Yeah, it smells like a vampire walking through. <laughs> Not only do I think no, the root I, art is great, yeah. I think that it is it has actually changed the style of art in board gaming since Whoa! Yeah. I, I really believe yeah. that. No I joke, believe no. that people are trying to kind of ape that style because it's been so successful. I like right. the Sagrada cover, but I don't love it. Mm -hmm. I do love the root cover. Yeah. I right, don't well, love either one, but that Sagrada cover is not good. Mm -hmm. I would say that that is Utilitarian, very much. Mm. It's like, hey, what can we put on the cover? How about, How about a glass, glass, glass window? window? <laughs> so much detail. No, it, it, I feel like no. that was the only. The only thing that feels like that. an interesting choice on that cover is that the word Sagrada is also made up of pieces. Right. Mm. That's it. Mm -hmm. No, but what else were they supposed to put on that cover? Give that. How about a perspective of mm -hmm. someone looking up at a glass window? How about something out? Anything interesting. Yeah. Take the camera, the imaginary camera, and move it. Literally anywhere else is a better choice. It's so interesting you say that, Tom, because I hadn't thought about this till just now. But one of the things that has been so neat 
over the last few years is BGG doing those alternative covers, yeah. right? The and I'm posters. telling you, you give some of these artists we've been talking about, you give mm -hmm. Ian O'Toole, you give Vincent Dutre, you give some of these people Sagrada, and I'll, you'll see what they can do with it. Okay, I'm just, I was just saying that I thought it was weird. You were like, why pick stained glass? I was like, yeah, yeah. that's what the game's about. No, I, I get think it's that. It's more of that perspective yeah, yeah. head on. Like, you know, like, also no, no right. choice. It's like the most obvious thing possible. You never on, look head on, on to stained glass. It's always some perspective, and it's never on your nose. Yeah. Right. But that's the perspective they chose. This I next, hate it. This <laughs> next, well, congratulations <laughs> to. Um, Lacrimosa. Oh, yeah, what one? Oh, uh, Lacrimosa should have been. Who did win there? Do we know? I think Root won. Oh, Root won. Sorry. It wasn't even close. Yeah, it shouldn't have been. Now we have. Old score artwork against tracing, or at least accusations of oh, tracing. We, we have go. side <laughs> versus seasons. Yeah. Ah oh, man, I hate side. voting. I hate side. voting for side. That's the, that's it's so it's such the. Oh, this is the best cover ever. I'm Mike Lisio. That oh. is the best cover ever. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Oh, we got wow. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> not what sure what, what, I, what, I, what I did for that. Okay. But <laughs> I'll hold that you hit him. How about that? I think side is not only great; it's iconic. No, I think it changed board gaming. Is it original? I, I don't think that on? I was being hyperbolic. No, I, really I think do. you're probably right. I really do think. That I uh, it's got to be side. I think yeah. seasons is very nice. Yeah, but it is. It's all, there's a lot of it's all seasons. I don't know. Like we've already seasons seen a bunch of covers that kind of look like seasons. Right. It's well done. It's yeah. competent. Right. Nothing about it blows me away. Side, yeah. side. There's something almost otherworldly about that, right. and it comes through. I don't know if it's the particularly good tracing or what. I mean, oh, is it close? Really is what I want to know. No, no, it, was no, not it wasn't. Close. I feel like in steampunk, they they often lean more towards steampunk and and less real world. And I think what I like about sides is it keeps so much of the real world in it, like you know, with right. that field and and that's first and foremost. And then you're like, oh wait, and then it has the not the mechs, but like you kind of see the steam steampunk um, integrated into the real mm -hmm. world and feeling instead of feeling like you're in a steampunk world with real world integration, it's opposite. You're in the real world with a little bit of steampunk, I think it really sells that in that mm -hmm. piece of art, and it's right. just it's so kind of, well done. For me, it's the kind of cover that I look at and I can I can hear it, mm. yeah. and I can smell the oil in the air. You think it might go to the end? I don't know, but it is a, it is a particularly captivating cover. I have one I, piece of board game art in my house, and it's a side really? piece. Yeah. It was yeah. given to me as a gift, but... I have 80 pieces of yeah. board game in my house. <laughs> I don't know what the games they I think size will go pretty randomly far. put up our... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drew puts the yeah. yellow one, bro. In, in the voting. No, I actually took the yellow ones down finally. You're monster. Mm. I put up new ones. I haven't been there in a while. You have not. All right. There's going to be some arguments on this next one. Here we go. I'm against 49 whoever, Sleeping the Gods vote is. against 50 Spirit Island. No, I don't think there's an argument. There's, I don't no. think there's an argument for me, but yeah. I know some people like the one style of art better. Spirit Island's fine cover. I don't I'm really surprised like it even Island made cover. this list. Yeah, I don't really yeah. like it. It got a lot of votes. I wonder, though, That's again, me. I think people nominating stuff nominate their favorite game. Right. Now, I will tell you, I, I think, think Sleeping Gods better than Scythe. I, well, I don't. We'll, we'll see if I, that I, comes yeah, up. I, I love agree. the Sleeping Gods cover. I don't think it's Ryan Lockett's best cover, but no. his best cover didn't make it on this list because it would have been in the eyes. I agree. Yes. Yes. I was yes. going to say that. I found his, his best his favorite. Cover. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I, I like Sleeping you know Gods. What I think actually his best cover is his upcoming Sleeping Gods oh, sequel. Well, that's a gorgeous. It's a stunning the cover. Distant sky. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. Or Rome. I really like the Rome one. But this one is not close. Sleeping Gods. I think. Yeah. I like this one because again, it evokes. That peaceful boat <laughs> and then that giant monster. It's great. Which, yeah. if you played the game, is such a pain in the neck, that yeah. monster. Funny enough, I almost didn't buy the game Spirit Island mm -hmm. because I didn't like the cover. I don't love the like, cover. I didn't at all, like yeah. it. And now I'm glad I did, honestly. <laughs> yeah. This I is a slam dunk. Yeah, not yes. close. That is by far the, the most. Mm -hmm. No one said Ryan Lockett's best cover yet Dingo's Dreams. Nah. Mm. I don't actually think it's. Oh, I should know that cover. <laughs> it's really good, but yeah. also it's, it's not a Ryan Lock. He did the, 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 the art. Well, he did the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we now have a, a, a very sword. simple game against a fairly complex game. The new Stroganov oh, against Taki Noko. Stroganov does for me what Scythe cover does for a lot of people. These are two very different really? styles. And These are two very different styles. The Stroganov. I'm, I'm going with Stroganov on this. Really? I think yeah. if you took Scythe and took out everything interesting, you'd have Stroganov. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I actually, I see why you say that. I do see why you say that. That's pretty, uh, yeah. that's kind of on point. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's still, I still think it's a very, it, it, this is another one that evokes movement. You know, I yes. feel like I'm right there. Um, 
and, and I, with the yeah, camera. Yeah, I, 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 this, this is, it's a cinematic cover. Takenoko has a great color palette. I love the the design of the of the uh, you know the characters. It's very playful, but I think Stroganoff is is just a, a more striking cover. Mm, I, wow, I really like the Taganoko one. Before Roy shows results, so which one do you think is winning? Strong I do like the Taganoko. The only one in the Taganoko one I would get rid of is the stupid bamboo leaf the in front of the right O leaf at the right. end yeah. of the word. Yes. Which one do you think is winning? I think Taganoko. 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 Wow. wow! That is, I, I. <laughs> I'm pretty happy because I mean, I, I, I think Takenoko is good too, but I'm glad that people see the. Although you had, a, I mean, that was a slam dunk comment. Thanks. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. That one was good, but, but I do think that that uh, Strowman is a great cover. Alrighty, now we're gonna go to. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one, I think. Well, maybe not. We'll see what you guys yeah, think. I'm, so we have. Let me get the poll ready. I'm, Here we go. We got. Oh. Tang Garden against Tidal Blades. Oh, wow. gosh, that's tough. Wow. Oh. Now we're talking beautiful. Okay. This is rough. Oh, I hate this Both choice. these games. Look at that gorgeous. balance on that Tang Garden. Look at the balance. Oh, <laughs> let me let me ask you this. I like the <laughs> negative <laughs> space. I like the white space mm -hmm. in a lot of covers. The Tang Garden one never's done it for me. Yeah, Does that this white is the first one that has done it for me. You know what Why? bothers me is mm. I Go think ahead. because it does leave the bottom open, and so it's not just the center, but the way it leaves the bottom open and then has the trees on the side. Well, let's zoom in on both a, of these. a really interesting perspective. Gosh, these I These are beautiful. Love. The problem I have is that I, this Thank is going to sound, I don't know how this is going to sound. I think the cover <laughs> of the deluxe version of Tidal Blades yes. is, would be the one that I would be picking. Yes. Man, I like Absolutely. how that looks. Cut I off think like you, that. I think this is cut off a little bit, and you don't get the full scope of it. Yes. I just like it. That makes me feel like I'm there. No, no, this I, is a video I, game I, cover. I, I'm picking Gosh. title blades here, but they're both gorgeous. Uh, I gotta go with Tang Garden. I for think this I'm one. leaning Tang Garden, but I, I. Oh. I'm going title oh. blades. I hate it this makes me want to go through that portal. Yeah, both this of is, those yeah. are gorgeous. That's why Atlantis Rising should have been in it. Mm -hmm. Here's this is what's past. What I'm thinking, right. Mike. Mm -hmm. That version of title blades is like the. When you go to the the GameStop and you pick up the cover yeah. of the, of a video game, and then, you, and then when you load the screen, right, right. that's the deluxe white I screen agree. cover. I agree. Yeah. I think they're both gorgeous, but I, I would slightly lean Title Blades on this, especially if you're talking with know. the with widescreen cover. Even yeah, more if, so. if widescreen cover. Right it's close. close. Mm. It's close, but Tang Garden pulls ahead. That is correct. Tang Garden well, is a beautiful. So here was the debate. Title Blades definitely had more people voting for it when I was putting mm -hmm. these together. But a lot of people also wanted the other title blades in the new one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is great, also a pretty great, great cover. Better festival. It is, it's a pretty yeah, fun yeah cover. but I like this one over the other one. I do too. Oh, better better one. They have very better nice artwork in that series. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mr. Cuttingham. Both of these next awesome. games are about peace. Cuttington, right? Cuttington. Mr. Cuttington. I said what I said. Cuttingham. We Cuttingham. have Cuttingham. Chicago <laughs> against Tranquility. Ooh. Yeah, to me, this The Tranquility one, Boss is funny because it's about that big. Yeah, it <laughs> is. <laughs> that's, you know? that's, that's a neat piece of art, but I think, again, I, 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 I'm probably overusing words, but I do that all the time. I think Tokaido is another iconic board game cover. I, I, it was the first changed board game. I would like, not, but I would say actually, I would argue because this is the no, first one that brought the white, the white box. White it kind of did. Was but that, again, um, are, we, are we considering that though? I think no, that's what it's talking about. You can't care. not consider yeah, for yeah. personal tastes, yeah, yeah. but also it is interesting to hear people bring in that personal experience, and then you see the vote completely go right. against it because yeah. Mike, Torpedo is one of my I like favorite Tranquility game covers of all. I, mean, I love that upside down stuff. I think it's yeah. neat. It's it neat. makes me think like. Ooh, Look at how close this is. Takedo is again think, one of my ooh, favorite. Ooh, let's watch all this oh. Ooh, we may have to have another tiebreaker. It's very here. beautiful, yeah. I do like Namiji better though than Tokaido. I do too, actually. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Wow, this called, is right? super close. Yeah. Like, I mean, to be clear, I, I lean Takaido. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I do think that's interesting that. It's cool yeah, but I mean, the people saying too much white, I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of think you're missing the point. It I works, like this, it but that's there. the game. That's what it is. is. Yeah. But I'll but tell you, you what, I liked, I liked no, that yeah. white right? until I saw 20 other white boxes. It, it's lost its luster because there's a lot of white boxes well, that exist. I, 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 I disagree. Stuff. I think it, it has a simplicity to it. I guess my point Even is that that, co that cover 
perfectly well, matches the game. Unfortunately, right? Tranquility was not able to overcome that, it, so Kaido pulls ahead. So Kaido's a, co a tough cover to... I mean, I think that says a lot for Tranquility, actually. Cause yes. That's a, that's a pretty popular cover to Kaido. And Tranquility, I don't think, is a very not regarded well game, yeah. so it's really, it, mm. it went toe-to-toe -to -toe mm -hmm. with a longtime champ. Yeah. It was kind of like Rocky 2. Right. right. Bam, 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 That's Rocky 3. That's 4. That's, yeah. 3 is a... a oh, P3 oh, P is, P is a... Nice Apollo try. Is a... <laughs> Clubber Lang. Clubber Lang. Uh, yeah. yeah. Clubber Lang. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, two new games here. One of them is a reprint of an older game. We have Trekking Through History oh, wow. against Unfathomable. Oh, these are both good covers. Hmm. I'm going Trekking on this one. God. I'll tell you what, that font in Unfathomable I think is really good. That it frame. Is. Mm. This one has a frame that works for me. It does. And I like the monsters monster breaking the frame. Breaking the letters. I think it's a good, moody cover. It is. I fought trekking through history. Man, that's nice. That's really yeah. nice. I think what would take Unfathomable over the top for me would be kind of like you're talking about. Panning the camera in and up a little bit, a little more, more so just yeah. to make it more menacing. Yeah. yeah, these are both very good covers. Oh, they are. I think Eileen Trekking as well, but mm -hmm. I love like I think Moody I and think, Unfathomable was the perfect word. I think I lean Unfathomable. Really? Yeah, I, I, I think do. that one will win. I think that Trekking through history. I like Trekking might, through history because it looks different. Yes. Yeah, than most yeah. games. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, I thought, I thought Unfathomable would win that one. That's okay. They're both very I, nice I'm, covers. I also like that we kind of have another moody one. And, you know, like there yeah. haven't been mo many moody options yet. And I think that, again, that goes back to the discussion that Tom and I have, like what constitutes pretty. You know, I think mm -hmm. really gruesome covers. Yeah, I don't necessarily pretty. understand your thoughts so. on pretty sometimes, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go sci-fi here, or mm. weird fantasy versus sci-fi, I guess. We have Vindication. Uh, against mm. Voidfall. Oh my. Oh. I've never loved the Vindication I cover. I don't love either one of these. Why does the one. I love that Vindication. That makes me feel like a Pulp Fiction it movie. Definitely, it, it looks like, like an old it. book to me. It looks like one of yeah. those those book covers from like the you know the 50s or 60s. Is that uh, a Brachiosaurus? Is that Nessie? In yeah, the I can't tell what is. No, no, that's a, a broken a ring broken, like the ones in the back. Yeah, like it's a. Right. It's, it's, that's my problem with it, is I can never really. It looks, you ever seen those pictures online that simulate what it is to have a stroke and you look at a bunch of objects? Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding, that's what mm -hmm. these pictures are. And it, it's like, ah, oh, I almost recognize any one of these things in this picture, but I can't really. I have never seen these pictures. Yeah. I'm now very curious about this. Oh, I actually oh, like yeah. both it's of it's these cool. covers. I think the color, the use of color in Voidfall puts it over the top for me. But I like both of those covers. I have a hard time. This is, even though I told the people not to do it. Yeah. Divorcing my like of vindication. I, know, I like coverage. Yeah. I've not played Voidfall. It's not out yet. So I find all both perfectly fine. So I'm. I uh, yeah. I don't care about I'm either one of these. Happy to vote them out next round. <laughs> That's kind well, of where I'm at. Too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Voidfall makes it in, you weirdos. Mm -hmm. I was mostly <laughs> making fun of the vindication cover. I don't have strong feelings. Oh, yeah. I hope one of these yeah, makes yeah. it. I think. But I no, think I'm, Voidfall, like Mike was saying, is a little. More striking, maybe with the color usage. More of a graphic design look than. Yeah, yeah. and then if you do space, often they'll look alike. Right. You got to do something that stands out. I think Voidfall right. manages to do that. I'll tell you, the it's cover that I'm a little surprised yeah. didn't make it—a space true. cover. Uh, kind of, I'm a little surprised Black Angel didn't make it in there. Oh, Black yeah. Angel's a good-looking cover. Yeah. 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 Once again, doing space completely, completely differently. Different. Yeah. That's that's the O'Toole too, isn't it? Is that Ian O'Toole? I think I believe, so. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay. Well, I'm surprised Twa didn't make it, really. <laughs> There's, there is one like, artist that has not been represented here. I'm kind of surprised. At least not to my remembrance. What's the artist? You can say it now. Quanche Maria. Have there been any of his covers here? Wow. No, but, but again, I went by what people I asked know, for. I'm just saying I'm a little, little surprised. surprised. Weberson Santiago. Weberson, oh, I would have had the bloody in 100 but no one else would pick it. And, and then, uh, that I new cover, there's a few people one. that yeah. are fantastic artists right. that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Empires of the Void 2. Yeah, that's a that's a really good space cover. Mm -hmm. Ryan Lockett. The one that I've seen, well, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but there's one cover I've seen mentioned more than any other that hasn't been on here that won't be. Um, also, the Micho has what a heavy art on here. Oh, Tenpenny Parks, I've seen come up like 
12 times. It chat. didn't come up in yeah. uh, polls. And right. You want to vote this, get him in the polls. But you're yeah. right, I do like 10 Penny Park. 10 Penny Park's a mm -hmm. great All right, well, here we got an iconic game against a very, a game that's not even out yet. And that is War of the Ring against Weather Machine. Oh, this is easy. This to me is this, easy. I have zero interest in that War of the Ring cover. Yeah, I Wait, like Roy it. Roy's gonna come that over the screen. So generic. That's that's old school, John Howe. Sure, yeah, I get old it. Old school. Yeah, no, I think the Weather Machine is a. Yeah. A great Actually, cover. Weather Machine is one of my favorite covers. <laughs> I haven't played the game. Great cover. I, yeah. I want to play that game. I mean, I hear it's a little serious, so probably don't mm -hmm. want to play the game. But I love yeah. that cover yeah, so yeah. much. That's a great cover. Yep. There's something really nice about the lettering of Weather Machine mm -hmm. in the window. Yeah. Yes. That's something they could have done for uh, Sagrada. Yeah. How about I, that? Well. Back off. You know what I mean? Back the camera off. <laughs> I, will be I thought you were telling Tom to back off. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying like... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, take the point of view yes. and back yeah. it off. Right, you know, right, back yeah. off so that you right. can see the stained glass window and then yeah. a church around it yeah. or something, wow. some spires, something. It, it was going to win by a million, close. million percent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, will, I will be the person who I like John Howe's artwork in that it fits 100% exactly what War of the Ring is. Sure. I agree. Yeah. 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 It's like a, those two things go hand they in hand. Do. John they Howe do. and yeah, yeah. Lord of the Rings. Right. To the point where Ethnos, at first I was like, Lord of the Rings, you know. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now this next one I think will be a crushing victory, but we have a very popular wingspan mm -hmm. right. against Yamatai. This better be a crushing okay. victory, okay? Because that's just... It's a very attractive but incredibly boring bird. <laughs> it hurt, it hurt. <laughs> There's nothing like they forget to finish the cover, man. I mean, we're not talking about game art. We're talking about covers. Wingspan is a boring cover. Again, it's I'm nothing on what the happened? game. On the, yeah, this, I do wonder why they picked this bird mm -hmm. to showcase the game. Yeah. And nothing else. Like it's And yeah. literally nothing else. That's the yes. problem. There I... is no cover. Disagree yeah. entirely. <laughs> I, I am seldom the defender of wingspan, mm -hmm. but as a uh, cover, you, like you have that up in the store. It looks different from everything else on the shelf when mm -hmm. this came out. Yeah. Every other game looked more like Yamatai, looked more like Res Arcana, looked more like Glenn Moore. And you come out with wingspan, there's a reason that that has sold a million copies. And Yamatai has it. Mm -hmm. I, I, but it's not the cover. <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's take a look at the, the votes for this. I actually don't love the Yamatai cover. I think Wingspan. Would be yeah, awesome. yeah, but, but, no. I, but also I, I actually just like the Wingspan. Mm -hmm. Also, you deserve that, whatever just happened mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't taste it. Not good. Um, it better be Yamatai. <laughs> Is it Yamatai? Tony, there are some people that push back against Wingspan because of its popularity. Again, that's the thing. I mean, See, this is much more. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think a lot of people like push back because no. okay. there's no way. No. no. You're you like wingspan. Right. That's what yeah. I'm here. Okay, you actually thought Wingspan in, was gonna crush. In, in this in this no, I thought Wingspan was gonna get crushed. Mm. You Are really you, did. You, yes. yes. No. Wingspan no. is a, a bad cover. Look, I, I like I I think Wingspan. Shouldn't make the final four, right? right yeah, no, I agree. I think it's a great cover, though. Yeah, I like the cover a lot. I, I, I feel like it's, it's a cover I could have designed, and I'm not a graphic designer. You give me the bird artwork, I got the rest. There's nothing else there. I I, I will disagree. It's terrible. I, I like the simplicity of the background and just the bird, but that bird does not do it. I think if they chose literally any other bird in that game, and I would have been... just put it there like yeah. clip art, I, I think it's equally terrible. I disagree. I you've, have... got, you've got one image on All right, right, you have right, to right, get it exactly right. And yeah. they missed that, and I they missed think. that moment. They did not like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't think it should go Yeah, I reversed them halfway through. But I think it's better than... I'll give you the numbers. It's better composed than the Yamatai cover. Yamatai is once again... 2 and 34. This person... Let's grab this person. Okay, let's grab this person. Yeah. You got like that. I didn't the Yamatai cover. Yeah, I like the Yamatai artwork, right. but the composition. <laughs> Round two! We're no, now I'm still arguing about it. Shut up! <laughs> Back off. <laughs> All right, the top 32. Here okay. we go. The first matchup. Camilla wants a vulture on the cover of Wings. Yes! <laughs> Literally any bird. Direct quote. I'm the, sorry. The moving. first matchup is water based. Mm. We have Aquatica yeah. okay. Abyss. versus mm -hmm. Oceans. Aquatica, done. Aquatica. <laughs> <laughs> show the poll. Yeah. Show the poll. Remember earlier oh I said, like, oh, I got nice things to say about oceans. 
Not a quad. Nah. This is a quad. Yeah, well, you I don't agree. know. Nah. You don't know. Maybe you know. <laughs> that Aquatica cover is considerably, yeah, uh, considerably better. Attractive, more attractive. Yes. Chris, can you throw me that marker? Woof. Okay. 13, 14 people should not be. That was a bad me. throw. That was a bad catch, too, though. No, I had to reach. <laughs> I couldn't. Throw it at me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, where are we at? Uh, by the way, that was a crushing victory in Aquatica. Mm, I saw that. Yep. Uh, just demolished yeah. oceans. All yeah. right. Now it's uh, Roy, it's 4 and 35. Ooh, that's a four good match. 4 and 35, up. whoa! I'm all in on 35. Mm. Hang on, I gotta type the poll. I don't know what 35 is, but I'm all in on 35. Ooh. Nope. By the way, the polls wasn't... All wait, day. Roy's beating me! Air day. Oh. Okay, so yeah. it's gonna be on Mars versus Bitoku. Mm-hmm. This one's... I'm yeah. on on Mars. This, this is on, on Mars. Mars. This is on Mars. On 100%. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I still yeah. like Bitoku. Yeah. I, Bitoku I like Bitoku. Bitoku last time. I, th I thought it was on. I'm not telling you though. because you're going to get mad again. Yeah, yeah I am mad. It, 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 I don't remember it, what it, it was. Atlantis Rising. Yeah, it was Atlantis Rising. Yeah, that's not okay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you did know. You just it's losing <laughs> to On Mars. <laughs> on Mars is a fantastic <laughs> nice cover. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'll tell you what, man. you put Atlantis Rising up against On Mars. <laughs> that and, been uh, no, that would have been a very tough choice. That's how you do it. Yeah, yeah. On Mars. Yeah. Easy, easy. Ridiculous. Wow, mm -hmm. these... Uh, these semifinals are being a little uh, uh, simple here. So far, I, I thought I thought when we got here, we'd have. Okay, anyway. No. Yeah, no. The I remember six the and first thirty-eight. Time I saw really? the cover of On Mars. I was like, I remember the first wow. time you saw it. As, yeah. as weird as that sounds. I, I was like <laughs> yeah, that's, that's flabbergasted. Weird, Chris, we were like, we, like we were like on each other's podcast some of the time. Yeah, yeah. And Mike was like, "Have you seen?" Like, he <laughs> was, like it, it oh. shook him. Parks as the kids versus say. Canvas. Gosh. Oh I, man. I feel like I'm a like a hater, but to me, this one is also not close. I think Parks is a much I, better. No way. Oh, canvas. No way. No way. No way. I think it's I'm orders of magnitude better than yeah. Canvas. I'm Parks. No it's way. not close for me. Agreed. But you're going yeah. with Canvas? I'm going with Parks. I yeah, I'm going with Parks. Parks, too. Yeah. Parks is much better. <sighs> you like Canvas better, Tom? I really like Canvas. Really? Parks looks like uh, one of those posters, and they're cool. They're but great. Canvas it looks is unique. that actual artwork. It though, is. You know I'm not I mean? saying that's bad. I'm just saying as a board game cover, I like Canvas better. No. Uh, no. I think it's a child's plaything <laughs> drawing, it looks better. I'm happy well, with whichever one wins. They're both great. Right. See, I knew, I, I'm telling yeah. you, people love that canvas yeah. cover. I think oh, it's I can't see this poll going I until Parks is winning. I do not I, think I, it's that great of a cover. Uh, I really I don't. I am parts. feeling pretty good because I have the voice of the people most of these times here, and you guys are all the I think the canvas okay, cover is got taken away. I was okay fine. with that. Atlantis Rising got taken away. I was okay with that. You were not. You, you were I'm still not okay that you're, you're a liar. liar. I almost yeah. feel like the fact that Canvas is about art seven a. is part of why people pick it. Right. Um, it's seven and forty. It's the same reason I got one. Well, yeah. Seven and forty. Take that comment back. There, exactly. there is something. Yeah. <laughs> <in agreement. laughs> I've said this a few times. There's something to be said about a game's art fitting the game, which mm -hmm. makes it a good cover. Oh, this. Do you need we say anything? That giant thing that blowing cover, up the planet. That yeah. cover speaks for itself. That deer is getting blown blows. up right yeah. now. That is that deer? Right that's the, is this a before and after picture? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I love it. That elk is looking Fantastic. going, that's a beautiful cover. Look at that elk. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gorgeous cover. I'll lose to that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, can I hop on over to that planet? <laughs> it's actually closer than you guys think here. I'm sure it is because Cascadia is a very popular game. Right, and that is so and it's no, I love a, Cascadia, but it's frustrating that that's the voting power. Yeah, to me, these like are not even close. It's not a bad cover, but it's... No, it's best hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey. Folks, I made a bad poll here. Yes, you uh -oh. did. Uh-oh. Hang on. Abyss. That, Wait. Oh, I, I did the wrong, the wrong number? Did I say the wrong number? No, I did the wrong thing. Poll doesn't match picture. We're going to do the poll over again. Atlantis Rising's back in. I know that much. No, that's not how it's working. It's back in. How about Atlantis Rising versus Atlantis Rising? That's right. <laughs> I, I hope that that poll edition. ends up happening that would, somehow. That would be okay. What was the first edition one? Okay, if you didn't... Okay. Get crushed the by poll, the, the correct edition. poll yeah. Yeah, right. is in the thing. <laughs> correct poll. By the way, guys, you don't need to, like... You know, if yeah. one person says the poll is wrong, I don't need, like, 100 people. The poll people is wrong. <laughs> right. Do you need 99, though? Yeah. Because you got it. Also, All right. Met is raw pork, Chris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, good thing yeah, I think. Oh, be. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. so much better. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, yeah, this, it's this ten and forty-two. Uh, this was this was a dark horse. I didn't even. 
I, I, I've seen this cover before, and I thought it was great, no but now I'm like, man, this, this, this is You're one showing to us stuff, with. Roy. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Uh, yeah, I agree, Mike. This is not one I would have considered. Mm -hmm. Not one I'm aware of or yeah, would have yeah. thought about. You thought the Zeitgeist. Seeing it there in black and white, I'm like, whoa, that's striking. That's striking. Uh, I think this next one will also be a blowout. Mm -hmm. Or at least for you guys, it will be a blowout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What could it possibly be? Oh! oh. Uh, yeah. Rising Sun <laughs> against <laughs> Dead Men Tell No Tales. Dead Men, I love the way it's so detailed and then it kind of gets smudgy, for lack of a better mm, word, you know, I focused agree. as it goes out, and then still has a silhouette to bring it back into a focus, like Dead Man's Tail is just... I do like down. the Rising it's Sun cover a lot, though! Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. got a little wingspan for me with that sort of just floating figure, no context. Wait, but the background is a drawn thing for that cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but against the sky. Down. Yes, that's yeah. where birds fly. Yeah, there's just some, like, it feels like... Particularly good clip art is what uh, Wingspan mm -hmm. looks like to me. Yeah. And that one, the Rising Sun, looks a little clip arty too. With like, here, figure, no context, floating in yeah. space. Sure. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying, but also birds fly in the sky. All right, Roy, yeah, we got so 11 and 44. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, did it win? Did it, did it oh, that meant, yes, it wasn't even close. Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. All right, here's a tough one, Bruce. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is, this is like the same, easy to me. It's like the same similar perspective. perspective, yeah. Man, this is tough. Oh, you're right, it's not a mermaid. I always thought it was a mermaid. No, yeah, I think the, the theme is you're diving for pearls. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, gosh, this is so tough. Um, I yeah. love the way that they evoke the sun coming through yeah. the water. That's beautiful, but that Rococo cover... Even though I didn't choose it because I thought that the, what it was up against before was better, that is a really daring choice to go with that cover. That's true. It's that a is true. daring choice, it is. right? Yeah. It yeah. really is. Which the fire, the fireworks in the sky, having all those different colors, mm -hmm. but then blocking it off with the windows and the yeah. pillars is really. I don't know soft. that there's a bad choice here. I think that both of those are fantastic covers. I, I strongly prefer the dive over a cocoa, and and I just I, I for some reason that one just doesn't do it. I love mm. everything that it did, but I feel like I don't know if it's too much white. I don't know if it's yeah. the if it's the oversaturated, not I'm sorry, the um, overexposure, overexposure yeah. you know, but something just doesn't pull it together for me. I'm really happy to see Dive win, though. I, yeah, I it's like a that, mm -hmm. yeah. beautiful cover. I might have, I might lean towards Rococo myself, but Dive is so good. Yeah, it is. I think it's a lesser known game. Uh, I'd like to yeah. see that. Yep. Fourteen and forty-five. For no wait, no wait. Yes. <laughs> Root. Is that right, Tom? I figured out your system. <laughs> <laughs> Roy's, Roy's min maxing back there. Well, Roy, I'd be careful because I messed up and I had to squeeze a number in the wrong spot at one point. It's like I've already made uh, the whole slide, so. <laughs> I made the wrong poll, that's the problem. Is this Hang right? On. Is this correct? Root and Etherfields? Yes, Root and Etherfields. Um, I'll say this um, commenting on the last one when I get this poll together. I will say congrats to Eagle Griffin on that line because they've got several games they in this do. thing yeah. here. They do. Are they on Mars, Weather Machine, and, and Rococo? Rococo. Well, I mean, they've obviously yeah. found a good combo there with, you know, Vitaliserta and, you know, Tool. I mean, and I have a feeling that's if it ain't broke, don't fix it type mm -hmm. of thing. You know, Rococo's right, not like this. This has got to be a tough choice for you. It is, I think, because I think that they are both uh, very good covers, but I, I, I just I adore that root cover. And I, I think that that arc is. Why do you like the root cover when it's a bunch of creatures shoved on it? When you criticize that, no, go back to the root covers, Roy. I was trying. This to This is not. It, it, it's it's each of it's the character. It's each of those characters in their natural habitat. That's that's perfect, and it all is a seamless. Even though that even though it's it's disparate, it's also kind of seamless. I think I don't like the names and blocks in the middle. I get oh, that. That's the a root word. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's like, uh, what's that? that wood, it's like a wood, green, wood um, rubber stamping rubber, like or a wood, wood carving. Stamping. Wood carving thing, yeah. So I think, interesting, Mike, you said, you know, oh, it's the four characters and it's this and that, so you can kind of explain mm -hmm. how you like it because mm -hmm. you know the game. Yeah. Whereas Etherfield's... No, sad. I think Etherfield's a great cover, too. I, I, I love the Root cover. I was not expecting Root to lose in round two. Yeah. I what? thought Root would make it farther. What were you saying to Camille about? I was saying, whereas Etherfields, I want to know about the game because of the cover. Mm. It draws me in, whereas Root, I feel like if you know the game, it helps the cover. Yeah, and I, I think I because can see of that, that, I went Etherfields. And a yeah. situation where I think that the Root cover is not the best art in the game. I also agree. I also the think game. the Root cover is not the best covers of Root. I think some of the expansion covers are better than the base okay. game covers. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. 
That's oh. interesting we're seeing that the expansion. It's 15 so against 47. Game, right. There's different right. pieces yep. of the art. Oh man, guys, have fun with this matchup. This is. This could have been the final. This could oh. have. God, I don't want to vote for this one, man. We have to vote for this one. I'm running for all of them. This one is. Gosh, I don't know. I, I don't know. This is really tough. Uh, I, I, God, I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's head's gonna explode. You, yeah, right? you, you explode. broke Mike, so you broke Mike, Tom. This is really tough, but I think I lean Everdell. I like the, I, I don't know, maybe it's just more lush and more well, this Mike's matters, style. This could be a tie here. Really, I, I really. I think I like the side cover better. I think really, I, do, I, I think I, I like the color of it. I like the the light, the perspective. Like like I think Everdell just brings a lot. I, I think I like the world that side this building, and that's what sells that balance of the like I said the real world versus mm -hmm. the. All right, leave it on here for a bit because it. I mean, it looks like Everdell's gonna win this one, but this is a. Scythe was ahead for a while, then Everdell cut yeah, back. Yeah, um, I think Scythe gets it's gonna get hurt. Because of the controversy, I, right. I, I honestly believe that. Wait, you think a lot of people know about that, though? Yes, it's been in the it's been in the chat. Oh, oh. I said it actually when we saw it. Now, there was a controversy that the guy traced his drawings. Oh, you said it. Sides. I didn't know which game you're talking about. Oh yeah, side. There was a real big thing about there it. There was, but I've also seen plenty of professional artists who who say that there, it's a more nuanced discussion than you. It's it's odd. You you, you would expect nuanced discussions on Twitter, and you, you didn't do, you didn't get them. So <laughs> strange. Well, uh, it's um, close. It's we're, it, I'm calling it here. It's two fourteen to two o four. That's ten votes ahead. I guess those are both amazing covers. That that's is a, sorry, side. Wow, I wasn't expecting side to go on around two either. Yeah, yeah but yeah. against Everdell. It was against Everdell. That Everdell was easily could make it into the finals. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, I don't think any of us would say, like, huh, fat chance. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's time. Uh, Roy, we got uh, 18 and 49. We have Cute versus Monster. Oh, this is easy. For me, for me. But again, yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. You didn't like Flamecraft to begin with. I, I think in this matchup, I'm going Sleeping God. I love the Flamecraft cover. Mm -hmm. I, I find it so funny that there are other ones that you... You know, you say like, oh, the negative space doesn't work. You don't like the mashup of the thing. of Yamatai. You were forgiven, you know, forgiving of that. Mm. I didn't uh, find that to be true of Yamatai cover, actually. I absolutely 100% think that. Yeah. Also going Sleeping Gods. Mm -hmm. Me too. I mean, but yeah. I don't like that front Flamecraft cover. Man, it's funny because I it's really do love the like art it. Flamecraft. I, I don't dislike it. it. I just don't. I'm, I'm like, okay, cool. That's the Flamecraft cover. Um, I well, look at that and go, whoop! Look at that Flamecraft cover. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. It's fun. That's the cover they went with. We don't need to have a particularly long, nuanced conversation about this one. Does <laughs> it get crushed? <laughs> Flamecraft got flame. The dragons got eaten by the monster. Yeah, you got mel escaped. Um, Let me show up for just a second. It's coming. Okay. Boom. Yeah, yeah, that's about what I expect. Waka, 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 I waka, waka, think waka, that might waka. be the last, or one of the last crushes we'll see. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, Roy, we're at 19 and 51. Let me find them here. Flamecraft looks like art class pieces from elementary school. I don't know what school you were going to, <laughs> uh, but if I could have drawn those right now, uh, I would probably be making money. This is that same thing like yeah, Simon Cowell used to do this where he would say, yeah. that sounded like karaoke. I'm like, no, I've been to karaoke. Right, right. <laughs> and it doesn't sound like that at all. Don't you forget about me. Yeah. All right, so here's, a, here's an interesting matchup. This is really Easy. interesting. Formosa T against Stroganov. I, I'm going I'm to tell you, I would not have considered Formosa T when you talked about the most beautiful covers, but I'm sorry, seeing them in this context with other board game covers, I love that cover. I would go, and I think the Stroganoff is an amazing cover. I chose that in the last one. I'm going Formosa T. You really are. Like, I, it's like you're like underdog favorite. Yeah, because yeah. I'm seeing it compared to these, and it almost looks better. When it's like Studio it Ghibli. Yes. There's a Studio Ghibli yes. quality to it. Yeah. The amount of greens right. that are in this picture also are the mind perspective. Blowing. The perspective of this is perfect. Yeah. It is oh, wow. perfect. There's a I'm going to fall down depth. until just as a heads up. There's yeah, a beautiful yeah. depth of field in this, yeah. uh, in this cover. Yeah. I love that cover. I mean, Stroganoff looks like a kid's 
craft class. Yeah, it looks like a <laughs> <something> <laughs> new, uh, uh, preschool. Uh, preschool uh, right. uh, paper ripping. Right. Yeah. Boring side. What is that called? Uh, paper uh, ripping. When you like South Park animation. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stroganov is basically. Uh, is there a name for that? The there it is. The papers yeah, there shape them. I, funny. For most Somebody will tell me in the comments. I still probably leaned towards Stroganov. Yeah, but it's a great it's, cover. It's not like a, not like I consider one of them far better than Formosa mm -hmm. T is great. Well, unfortunately, well, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Unfortunately for Stroganov, Formosa T did win that. Gosh, I, I love that cover, man. Oh, yes, um, <laughs> oh, this is Tang Garden versus Holy. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a guess. Yeah. yeah this I was, forgot Holy made it up. I didn't think Holy should have made it in the last round. I don't definitely don't think it should win against Tang Garden, which I didn't pick, and I still think it is a <laughs> much <laughs> better. Yeah, that's Wait, the, what? what? Roy, you can't, Roy, you're, you can't. You're, Roy cast the tie-breaking <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do like Holy, but I think Tang Garden has this by, by mm. a mile. Well, we should show the, we should show the votes anyway. Are the votes in? Uh, okay. The votes are Tank definitely Garden. coming in. Right. Tang Garden. Tang Garden. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yes, the votes are in. And the art throughout Tang Garden is actually Collage? Gorgeous. No, that's not the word I was thinking of. No, not really. There is a word for it. Ah, uh, yeah, so Tang Garden just no, slammed on not holy. Not All right. It's definitely not over. Now 53 and 24. Holy. Remember, Tom, when you said that we were done with the, seeing the slam dunks for a while? Yeah, week? you're mm -hmm. right. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Yes, we old. Works done. Uh, 53, no, sorry, 55 and 24. So I'm guessing that was Tang Garden, right? Yes, Tang Garden is in. 23? 24. Mm. What is 24? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is 24? Uh -oh. 24 is Iki. I-K-I. Oh. Ooh. Iki. So whatever is going on. That beat Honey Buzz. Okay. It did, yeah. Well, hold on. Iki's gonna lose to whatever's going on. Okay. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you don't like Iki. Oh, no. I like Iki actually more. It grew on me the more I looked at him. But yeah, it's gonna lose, especially up against Atlantis Rising. <laughs> <laughs> It's the last time like the people's choice. They voted back in. Yeah, right. like, I'm back, back in the tournament. In. Let's go. <laughs> Give them a third choice and see what right, happens. Next, next time we do this, I'll ask some judges' choices. There we go. To just automatically go to second round. Ten oh, I like the, I I like the idea this. of uh, Ten yeah. Garden pulling a Mighty Ducks partway through. It's just like we got different jerseys. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Oh yeah, Tokado. Oh, no. oh wait oh, a second. Oh, Hold on. Now. This is oh, this is not even hard for me. It's it's Iki so oh, far. Oh, it's Iki. Tokaido is a much better cover. I Ooh, I wish I could see it. I don't know, Mike. Ow. Tokaido's classic, right? It Tokaido. made an impact and everything, but I think Iki's a it's if a bad. Right, Tokaido, right, the next one is the weird. I think I think yeah. Iki nails. Look at the individual. The problem is, is that we're not zooming in where you can actually see the art in the Tokaido cover well enough. I think that the art in the Tokaido cover is. Much better than the, the, well, the figures. I'm sorry, we don't all have to use a microscope Look to at see that. this. That is fantastic. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you can really taste the pixel, right? Yeah. Well, that's actually right. a pretty, a that's, pretty high detailed picture. Yeah, I mean, I'm I think sorry, that, Roy. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. We sorry. Need it. I think oh, yeah, that I was trying to make Mike happy. What were you saying then? I, I think what what Iki does well is again that perspective and movement. You know, I mean, yeah, right. a lot of if we've seen kind of that, oh, this one, Stroganoff mm -hmm. is very movement, and then yeah. we have the perspective building of this really encapsulates the Well, it's 26 and 62. The Iki. Who won Iki, that, Tom? Yeah, Iki won, won that. that. He did it? Yeah. Close. Interesting. Yeah, I think I would have given it the nod, Wait, too. You're going all the way and to I agree with you, Mike, that the figures the are not as artistically precise. Right. Ready? I think as a piece... Where you sort of uh, just that comes yeah. to the territory that, that the artist on, is making a choice, or maybe that's as good as they get. Right. Mm. It works together. Yeah, no, I, I like, and I agreed with what Camilla said earlier. I think it did a good job of evoking that market. That was really neat. Mm. That, yeah. That's good. But I just felt like the, honestly, the quality of the art, because oh, exactly. that's what we're talking about, is better in Tokaido, I think. Well, but it's not just how good an artist I is. Agree. It's the composition well, also, right? It's Absolutely. everything. It's, it is. About, I'm, I'm even including font in this. To be like clear. Absolutely. Yeah. To be clear, I really like Takaido. Yeah. That would have been yes. fine. That's why I think that. Sagrada, because of the font, needs to be back in. Correct. Right. see that glass font? Let's Ooh. move on. <laughs> We got Weather Machine oh. against Kanagawa. This is Spiny oh. Weather Machine. Yeah. This is I think yeah. I'm with Kanagawa on this one. I think I'm Weather Machine. It 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 Weather Machine does dirty, grimy, 
and kind of bland in like an incredibly artistic way. Like a slightly better power grid, that's all it's got. <laughs> and it frames really well, yeah. you know, before, because it is framed in the window, but then uses that frame to bring Man, something I'm torn. else. These are, but these I'm still Our sides are so different. I'm gonna go so look at Can we take a closer look at that weather machine, though? Because it's so busy, there's a lot of pipe work and whatever's mm -hmm. going on in there. Look at all that. That's cool artwork, is man. Cool that artwork. is yeah. very... It's also... There's a hint of anime to it's that style. Very much there is, yeah. Very right? Much it is, makes yeah. me think of, like, Steam Boy. If you... Mm -hmm. That's like an anime... Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of steampunky. This mm -hmm. looks like a still out of Steam Boy. Yeah, I... Boy, I... Gosh, ah, that's that's really good. Cool. They're both really yeah. stinking good. But, Tom, can we b vote for both? Yeah. I'll tell you the truth, I came into this thinking that it would be Kanagawa. I I think I like Weather Machine. Better. Really? Kanagawa sucks now, I gotta no, say. No, no. I, I think Look that, how close it is, baby! I lean more Kanagawa. Oh, I really like the This painting. is a tough one. This is a tough one. I, I But I am leaning towards Weather Machine at this point. It is ten votes, so I'm gonna call it Weather Machine! Mm. Good run there, Kanagawa. All right, well, 28 and 58. Yeah. Kanagawa was so good. But I think I, I still yeah. would have given the nod to Kanagawa, yeah. And and knowing that it's a game about art, kind mm -hmm. of like with Canvas, like, oh, yeah. it's, it's popular, but like... Yeah, I'm trying to take that out of it, though. I'm really trying to just look at the covers. Like, yeah. You know? Right. I prefer Leaving Earth here. I, I really like that cover. Oh, it's down. Well, I thought yeah, it was like a... Lost. Oh. No, it won. Okay. I thought won a little bit. Yeah, it's... Leaving Earth is... Like I, I said before, there's so many covers that do this kind of minimalistic type of mm -hmm. thing. But when you look at it, you realize there's actually a lot of detail in that yes. smoke. There's a lot mm -hmm. of detail in the chemtrails it's leaving behind. Yeah. Joke. There's a lot of detail with the stars and the colorization of the skies. It's not so stark that it's bland. This is one that I think lives on its composition. It feels like you were talking about being thrown off of this one. That one looks like a perfect composition. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. all of your, uh, you know, everything in its place, a place for everything and everything in its place. You know, everything's very symmetrical, you know. Yeah, no, there's something old uh, and uh, mathematically pleasant. Yeah. And again, like you said, it, it's got that timeless old NASA look it to does, it, you know yeah. what I mean? Like that could have been drawn in the 60s, mm -hmm. or right now, and it's equally timeless. I agree. But I don't think I would, I, to me it's not art, like I really like that, I like it as an icon, I like it as a, a emblem, that kind of stuff, but actually as a board game cover in art, I, I lean pretty heavily towards mm. Unfathomable. Mm. Mm. Well, unfortunately... Unfathomable lost that one to Leaving Earth. Did we show the poll? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty it was, solid. It was a record one way. All right. <laughs> which of these is better? We got... Did I give you the numbers yet? No, but I think I got it. 29 and 60. You did! Mmm. I heard myself. All right. Ooh, now these are like very different. Mm. Yes. They are. A yeah. small flower. Do you like either of these? Or space opera. I don't particularly like I either. I think the Lloyd Fall cover is much better than Lotus. Oh, I, I disagree strongly. No way, I'm on Lotus, Lotus team. Is team fantastic. Lotus. Again, I think you said you didn't like that almost asymmetry to it. I think that's amazing. That little swath in the Gosh, back that I just gives it. that I balance. So much. I tell you Let me finish. <laughs> I think that swath in the back, but then balanced with the with the object source lighting from her hand, you know, it's, yes, there's more color on one side, but it brings a balance to the cover that I just think is so very Sometimes well Sometimes imbalance is okay. It's it is, right. Yeah, it's yeah, the imbalance that actually brings balance because it's balancing different things. I tell you, I see the, the void What about that haircut where I have short hair on one side and long on the other? No. Is that going to bother you? Never mind. No. I'm back on that steam. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see the void fall cover, and, and that's the one that makes me wish that that Black Angel was in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I think they look similar, but I think I... Oh, Black them. Angel was one that not brought... Again, I know afterwards, yeah. the comments are going to be full of games we yeah. missed, and yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, you should have got a bunch of people to vote for. But there's also, we live in a plethora of great covers. We do, yeah. And I feel like we caught many of the best ones. We have an embarrassment mm. of riches. Uh, but Lotus wins that one, 189 to 174. I'm very kind of, I am oh, surprised yeah, that it's gone yeah. this far. I mean, I think the next matchup, though, is... It's gonna be hard. Yeah, because Voidfall, none of us were like, woo, yeah, can't yeah, wait yeah, to yeah, that yeah, one yeah. go on. Eh, we had yeah. to... 
kind of had a pick of what All right. Okay. I think we know what's happening here. I don't actually Which know what's so happening here because... if what happens here. Remember, early, <laughs> remember <laughs> earlier, I was the one defender yeah. of Wingspan. Mysterium is a better cover. Mysterium okay. by <laughs> a mile. Like, it's on. a much better cover. Oh, that fog. The, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... That, if I remember anything about Wingspan, it won all the BGG awards, mm -hmm. including best art. <laughs> there wasn't a best art, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think uh, Mysterium is a much better cover there. Oh, man, it's so good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, good. All right, well, I, I, I was well really nervous, world. right? <laughs> Mildly restored. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, Momentarily, yeah. we'll see. Well, I can't believe Wingspan got this far. <laughs> It only, it only got through one it round! Through Come one on, dude! Too many, too many. You could have uh, put this up against uh, Melt's game, and I would have. <laughs> 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 two rounds too far. Come on, dude! Been in at all. That's rude. That is rude. All right, so that was the end of the next round. We are now into the uh, round. Third bracket. The third mm. bracket, 16, the final 16. All right, we're going to go into the sweet 16. All right, we got number two against number 35. Number two against 35 here. Maybe Aquatica. It is Aquatica uh -huh. against On uh -huh. Mars. Ooh. Now we got some hard categories here. I'm going like Mars. Every one of these should be. I'm going Mars. I'm going Aquatica. I'm Aquatica. I think Aquatica, it gives the different layers without it looking over busy. You have right, the above. Oh, do you need I to like take a down? Like the, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Massive ship. Yeah, that scale is really good. Got it. And then the see, top of the water, the, the bottom of the, the water without it feeling over busy. I usually, I, I usually lean to water covers, but I do think, I think on Mars a better cover. There you go, they back you yeah. up on it. Oh wow! Well. I really love water covers. I, I did think. like Aquatica. It's just, yeah, I do. So serene and, and and in this case dangerous, which is really cool. Yeah, mm. it has that like seeing the top of that water. Yeah. And like mm. I usually find that very relaxing and calming. And oh my gosh, everything else. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, on Mars is. All right, where well, we got six great. and forty. This is crazy. <laughs> These are not. This is another easy one. These are not. We eased up a little bit. You think this is easy? Uh, for for my taste, I do too. Maybe. Oh no, no. Let's think about this. We know how we said that the deer was before planetarium hitting it. This could be the myth, the thing hitting. She's just peacefully accepting her fate. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Going mm -hmm. out with a bang. Yeah. <laughs> I think planetarium is a better cover here. I again, right. I've picked right. against Canvas right. every time. Uh, I think canvas is a fine cover. But here, I've picked canvas every time, and mm -hmm. I think can. But I think that planetarium is a stronger total aesthetic. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right, now, now, we're having, starting to have some reality slip back in. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word! <laughs> All righty, let's see here. Where are we got number ten and eleven. Oh no! Yeah. One of my favorites is about to go out. I think. I'm going dive Ooh. here. I'm actually going dive. <laughs> Are you really? I am. I know Z's with Dead Men Tell No Tales. I am. I am. I'll definitely dive because I feel like. They're both great. They are. But the if you're, dive, we're uh, picking between these two covers, and I think if you're looking at these two covers. I am more taken with the dive cover. I love the light in both of it's, these. Yeah, yeah. With Dead Men Tale No Tales, which I think is my vote, I love that both the ship is illuminated by the fire itself, yeah. but there is that weird streak of light coming is, in. It's yeah. almost like this, things can work out despite mm -hmm. the fact that there's a major storm and your ship is on fire. Yeah. Maybe there's that little ray of hope. I think I Dead Men's like gonna it. win. I, I do. I, I would pick dive, but I think Dead Men's gonna win. Mm-hmm. I think I leaned on yeah. Wow, that was, that was that was much more crushing. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I understand. I think that's a stunning mm. piece of 14 and 15. Oh, dive is so good. It is, yeah, yeah. I'm sad to see it out. Yeah. Well, this is not going to be, I think, a very well, yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe it'll be close, but it shouldn't be. Everdell should win this one. The game that beats Scythe. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's how they uh, oh, okay. that's how it's advertised no, now. Oh, the wow. game that beats okay. Scythe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Everdell is, I think it does a very good job of, here's a game that is introducing a world, and there's your front door to that world right there. Yep. I think it does a really good job of kind of like, you know what you're getting. Dive is so generic, someone said? What? I no. What? Like on. what? Name one other cover that it looks, looks like Dive. Like yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Meanwhile. 
there we go. Ether Fields is out. What could be Everdell? Oh, I think there's games we've looked at that could be Everdell. I don't know. I, don't I think know. I think Everdell is going to be kind of a. a I think a with the people one. voting, Sleeping Gods will be up there with it. Uh, uh, Forty nine and nineteen. But I agree with Chris. It's it's definitely a contender. Yeah. For most of tea. All day and twice wait, wait, wait. on Sunday. But is it? Wait, I put off the ones you said. No, Iki's not forty nine. Iki's twenty four. Forty. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh. Whoops. Everdale. 49? <laughs> uh, oh. 49. 49. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. Fine. Yes. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. I don't like this matchup, oh, man. Mike. I don't like this matchup. <laughs> uh, you think Hermosa T is done now? Oh, it's way done. But I, I, I'm I, telling you, I, I'm having a hard I time thinking again. I made it to the final it. 16, Mike. No, no, I know. I mean, it's not. I, I going into this, I wouldn't even have considered this, but I just love that cover I like both so much. Of, both of these, yeah, could have been. Yeah, I, top four. I'm picking for most of T, but I sure that that Sleeping God's gonna I crush think it. It's gonna you be said it. which one could beat Everdell. I think that's one that could beat Everdell. You think Sleeping Gods? Yeah. That's so interesting yeah, that you say that, gods. and then you're like, but also not his best cover. It's not. I think Alabama's a better cover. Outbound? I don't know. I think I like Sleeping Guys better than Outbound. That's cool. I mean, Sleeping Guys. Wow, that was condescending. <laughs> I'm saying that's cool. It is. I don't, I'm not arguing. I just I think that we have a disagreement. It's all right. You can be wrong. I can be right. All's right with the world. Somehow that didn't make me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, now it's 53 and 24. Mm. 53 and 24. That's right. Oh, this is a hard one for me. Tangard. Ooh. I voted against Iki every time. You have. Really? Not only have you, really? you voted oh. against Iki, you voted for Tangard. I uh, did, yeah. Oh, that is a fail. I, I like Iki. I think that it's, the like I said, that kind of white strip across the top is, for me, more effective than the whole circle. It's much better. Gosh, but it's so... I, 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 again, I, I know this is so subjective, but I think the quality of the art in Tang Garden is better than it's the phenomenal. quality of the art in... I'm going to say it's hard to see. Gosh, I love Iki, but I but love like, the contrast of Tang Garden. Mm -hmm. The brown with the yellow and the green, like that color combination. You can that see real, it on here. Yeah. Like, saturated contrast mm -hmm. that it brings is so striking. Yeah. That oh, is that really the way it looks? Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, like, it doesn't actually look like that? Well, no, there's there's more. In your face. There's, like, there's like fish in the background here, yeah. but it's hard to see. It's hard to see. Like, you can see almost, almost filigreed in the back there. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I, I do see it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Kind of so, get it so that way we you need to strike the beginning. Fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it won. Yeah, it's won. Well, what about the other ones? I uh, let's look over and look at Iki now that yeah, Roy has right definitely there the swung it. Now it's not just white. Change the settings. Are there fish in the background of Iggy? <laughs> There's not. <laughs> no. Then I choose blues. Oh I am God. still all on board with Iggy. I, Me too. I think I'm, I'm going to switch to Tangard on this one. Tangard, yeah. 100%. I think Tangard will win. I, I, I don't know that it will. will. I think it's more popular. Okay. Is it? An Iggy? I don't know that it in is. In terms of, oh, uh, no, no, it was cover wise. Oh, I see. Pretty cover wise. Oh. I don't think either game is terribly per like popular as a game. I think as far as like drawing and artistic, yeah. Um, I prefer Iki. I'm sorry, not Iki. Tang Garden. All right, Tang yeah. Garden did win. But I'm also okay then. Mm -hmm. All right, Roy, sixty-two and twenty-eight. Sixty-two and twenty-eight. All right, these. Uh, I think this is going to be a crushing victory, but let's see what happens here. And twenty-eight. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, this is where mm. Leaving Earth leaves Earth. I think it's time for another <laughs> scene. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word! Yeah. Ooh, it. I I could see this going either way. Both could are you? both are really good covers. They are. They are good. Oh, that's right. Ultra is a really good cover too. Anyway, uh, yeah, I would go with uh, Weather Machine. Ooh, Ultra would have been. A... Mm -hmm. I just can't believe that there's no Vince in Detroit right now in the in the race, right? Yeah, other people. I thought about the museum. it. There's a museum. museum could have been up there. Poultry. I unconscious minds would have won out. All oh, of these. Oh yeah. Uh, it, well, no one. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think in the future we'll do like a card from a game. That'd be a fun yeah, one. Card yeah. against yeah. card. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Weather okay. machine. Yeah, weather machine. I think. Mm-hmm. It's it's very. All right. Well, sorry, machine. leaving Earth. Oh, hey, that's all a right. good run for that game. I don't think anyone would have thought of that. I, I would really. Have. 
I'm really at dive. Twenty nine and thirty two. Like, yep. nah. Yeah. If you would say Chris would pick pick the topic. Yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't have thought, thought of those. those. Yeah. Alrighty. This will be a tough one. Mm. Mysterious. Not for Z. Mysterium. <laughs> You know what? I'm still on the Lotus team here. Right, you stay team I, Lotus. That's this cool. is where I switch to Mysterium. I think that it, gosh, has so much emotion behind it. I, yeah. I just, I get it. It evokes so much. I it, love it. It does so much with very few colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is basically blue. It and is. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. it just. See, do you remember what the original game looked like this? Oh, t- t- or whatever. Yeah. Looked it nothing like. It did not look like this. Oh, okay. No. I don't remember. The reworking of it. All right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna call this one early. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterium whooped up on Lotus, yeah. bringing us to the final eight. Final eight. The great eight, huh? Yes. All right. Here we go. Uh, the here first one, Roy, eight. is thirty-five and forty. Okay. Thirty-five. Thinking about, it, I think. I think Rising 5 might be one of my favorite two trade covers. It's a good card. Really yeah, like that's a really, really, really good one, yeah. Oh, this is a hard match. Space versus space. Oh. This is still easy, I think. I still think this is on Mars, actually. Oh, I do. It's much oh, better. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think... Wow, this is hard. I think on Mars Here's a small remember. detail about the the words on On Mars. Mm-hmm. On is actually placed behind it is, Mars. Yeah. It's just a small detail, but it makes it feel... Further, it makes the steps feel. Yeah, harder. I think Planetarium is a is a maybe more striking cover. I think on Mars is a more dynamic cover. It's got again, it, it, it gets just it's so cinematic to me. It What's really in the does. green up top? I didn't see it. Yeah, is that like a? Uh, I, I, if there's an image up there, I really don't like that. I think it's a spaceship, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, like it's like a wrecked thing in the background, Z. I don't it, like it. Is no, it no, no, no. It's, in, it's, it it's, it's three dimensional. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's like up and behind. Up and behind, yeah. yeah. I don't like oh. it. <laughs> well, this is actually a Fly really close vote here right now. I think okay. on Mars is better. Planetary is easy win. Well, it's not it's like easy because easy choice, that close. Say, it is within two votes. Tie. Wow. Tie. Wow. One. Uh, Tie again. Know. I'm afraid that it's going to come to a vote. Man. Oh. This one's really close. This is crazy. I think oh, there's yeah. so there's similar the theme the similar themes is also tying into this. Wow. Man. Although I like seeing a, a more unknown game whooping of course. Up, you know going of head course. to head with a very very popular game. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go in the room for this one. Ooh. All oh. right, Chris. Oh man, I'm going on Mars. I they, think that that little they, lamp, that like mm-hmm. kind of light thing that is so like diffused because mm-hmm. of how murky it all is, it just, yep. it's a sweet, sweet detail for me. I'm going with Planetary because it's better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your, your mm-hmm. art. <laughs> He's like on a food show. He's like, right. more delicious, done. they are got like, great plate presentation. Mm-hmm. He's like, more delicious. That's it. Camilla. I just keep wanting to look at Planetarium every time. It's like, oh, you know, and then, oh, oh, Mars is cool. That's cool. But, oh, you know, it just it just keeps pulling you back in. And I love that. I love that pull. Is, I'm always on Roy, Mars because Z is wrong. Is Roy going to be the tiebreaker here? I think yes. so. Yes. This is space. So. Ooh. All right, so it's two to two, Roy. Hi, Roy. What are you I think he fell asleep. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Help you. Roy said, like, both of these kind of are terrible. <laughs> no, no, I actually really like both of them. Ah. Uh, Someone also put up If Roy can't make the choice, we can just go back to the Sorry, votes and whichever one's ahead at this point. Whatever one's Everyone's ahead, pick that. All right, we're going back to the votes then, which oh. is 218 to 215 right okay. now. Yeah, well, then let's just go with Planetarium. Planetarium. Oh, it is Planetarium. Yeah, I, I could have gone either way. So That was that was the closest match, I think, mm. of anything we've done so far. That was tough. I don't think any of us would have picked Planetarium. Oh, oh. This far, yeah. Oh, yeah. I All right, Roy, well, yeah, it's 10 and 15. Uh, have fun with this one, everybody. <laughs> you know, I'm going, I'm going Everdell here. I'm, I'm going Dead Men Tell No Tales. I'm going Dead Men Tell No Tales. You know, you were talking about that light in the background there, Chris. There's actually a ship in there, in the waves. In the back there. In like a storm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I see oh, it. That's nice. a fantastic. Mm-hmm. Gosh, I love it. Like it's like a massive still have storm this? in the background. I don't think I do. You had a big poster of this. I had a giant, oh, yeah. like... I had yeah, this like really big cloth, cloth yeah. thing 
oh. that I had behind my desk uh, at the old place, the old but I don't think I have it anymore. Now they survived the move. Maybe, maybe survived not, the move, yeah. yeah. Oh, so. wow, that's amazing. You had it for a long time. I think you kind of said, like, oh, maybe it's time to do something different. I'm yeah, I had huge, it hung up behind the I'm desk. Huge, All right, well, yeah, let's do some guessing like, here. This one's close, but not close enough. Like, I mean, we'll I, be able to call I, this I one. I assume Everdell is yeah. winning. I want Dead Man Tell No Tales to win. I, I'm the same. I assume it's Everdell, but I, I love Dead Man Tell No Tales. Well, like I said, the iconic picture there, but then also as a silhouette, the little details that you pointed out that even seeing it six times, you can still find more in the picture. I, I'm... Very strongly Dead Men Tell No Tales, but I think Everdell won, and I'm also okay with that because mm -hmm. it's fantastic. That's pretty close. That's it really close. close. Yeah, Dead Men is a great cover. It's a great cover. He made the wow. final eight. All right. 49 against 53. Someone in the chat said it is funny that sometimes covers will look better against other against covers, other covers right, and right. I agree. Yeah. That's why I was having a hard time picking Formosa T. Anything against Formosa T, it looked better to me than every other cover. 49 and 53, yes. I think about some of the ones that went out the first round. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, are we remembering anything? No. What went out the first round? Yeah, yeah. No, he's this, looking at a matchup. Match yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you start seeing, I mean, whenever you put two two big hitters like this up against each other, then you start nitpicking things, or I do mm -hmm. anyway. Like the letters Tang Garden, I don't like that the white gets lost in some of those letter edges. Mm -hmm. We're sleeping gods. Doesn't run into that problem anywhere it's on the also cover. One of my favorite fonts I've ever seen on a board game cover. I Sleeping God. Gods Sleeping is God. beautiful. I yeah. love that font. That color is beautiful. They also did the golden oh, limited edition lettering, yeah, which yeah. also works incredibly it well. It really does. It it works well both when it's shining and reflective gold, but also when it's dark. Mm -hmm. Not every game that does that shiny goldy thing works mm. like that. Right, right. I oh, gosh, I think these are both amazing covers. I I mm. I struggle with this one. I really struggle with that one, but I, I, I do think Sleeping Gods is going to win, and I think it's going to win handily. And? and are you okay with that? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. It's a great cover. <laughs> no, Mike is going to lose sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I got Time Garden. Yeah. <laughs> he wakes up, what can I have done? No, yeah, it's, it's no a, that was a pretty convincing yeah. victory. Mm -hmm. All right, last in the final eight, we have 62 against 32. 62 against 32. And uh, I'll just tell you guys what they are. Why we're, oh, never mind. Okay, Weather Machine and Mysterium. I love Weather Machine. I think it does so many things so right. I'm having a very hard time with this. I one. really like Weather Machine, but I love Mysterium. I didn't like that Mysterium beat up on whatever it beat up on last. But Lotus. Lotus, Lotus but I do like Mysterium better than Weather Machine. I don't know. I think I like Weather Machine better, actually. I didn't, when I first saw that cover, I'm like, yeah, that's a cool cover. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I like it. I'm exactly the same way. I'm exactly the same way. I really like I'm loving more and more details in it. So I don't know. I'm good with either one of these. Yeah. You know, they'll get crushed by Sleeping Gods anyways. Right. You think so? You think Sleeping Gods is that strong? I think that's going to be the Sleeping Gods is going to chomp on whatever oh. cover it goes up against, just like that monster mm -hmm. is going to chomp on that ship. Undevote. As he does every time I play the game. Correct. Yes. <laughs> That's really, it's pretty close. Yeah. It's that close, but bit. it's it's Mysterium. Mm -hmm. All right, so our final four is Planetarium, Everdell, Sleeping Gods, and Mysterium. I would not have picked Ooh. this for the final four. I need, a, I need a die to match these up against each I other. I would do, do, do. I need... Also, uh, do me a favor, throw Atlantis Rising <laughs> here. <laughs> Atlantis Rising comes out of nowhere! Alright. Well, one of you roll a die, and we'll just re-roll fives and six. Oh, hang on! Hang on! <laughs> <laughs> Two! No, wait, wait. What is that? Is that a 20? It's a 20, yes. so yeah. Divided divide by five. Enough. Got it. Someone roll it. No, Go roll, it. roll it. Two. Go roll it. Ten. Okay, so our first one, Roy, is going to be Everdell. R.I.P. Eleven. And our second one is going to be Sleeping Gods. Come on, let's see it. Oh, this was probably this the, the, the This is the matchup. This is going to be knocking out. I think the heavy hitters because yes, I think these two would have been the last. This would have been one and two, right? Um, mm. It's so the. I'm going Sleeping Gods. Really? Wait a minute! Mm -hmm. You just blew my mind! Mm -hmm. I thought you were Everdell all the way! No, I, I think Everdell's a great cover, but again, we're comparing these two. Um, wow, that's hard! It's very hard. I think I'm going Everdell. Yeah, this is hard. On this one. 
You know, you said Sleeping Guy is one of your favorite fonts. Everdell's font's not that not much. Bad. They're not that far they're off, that right? Far they're off. both very The thing uh, is, when you look at them, the, the covers are doing similar things. You wouldn't think so, but they kind of are. They're working with a very limited you, color Eric. palette. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I like Everdell. I think I, I really like the depth that Everdell provides. Mm -hmm. Again, it's that world. It's the it's the gateway to that world. You're going yeah. in it. I think what what I'm a little surprised by this. I thought Sleeping Guys was going to win it all. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I think Everdell. Like I I, I called this in the beginning. Yeah. It is one of the. It's a great it's cover. It's a great cover. It really is. It's known cover. for being pretty. It is, yeah. As opposed yes. to uh, Wingspan, which is known for being popular. <laughs> right. Oh my word, <laughs> yep. Wingspan lost to uh -huh. Weirdo. Uh -huh. Can right. we bring it back? <laughs> you sound very bitter. And put it up against Atlantis Rising. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, Planetarium versus Mysterium. This is a funny <sighs> comparison because I don't know if... I. How do I say this? This is the matchup in which I think Planetarium has looked least good. Mm. I don't... Oh, gosh, this is hard. Okay, now, I haven't made a big issue about this, but do you think the background affects that at all? The background of... of which like one? Our, our, our Dice Tower background? Yeah. Do you think Mysterium oh, is getting a buy because it's so... Because it, it looks no, 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 like no, no. I'm stuff. saying, okay, let's see the background. Uh, no, no, I, I think Mysterium looked good on that background. No, I think they both look... Uh, I think they both look better here without it, but... I, I don't know to pick here. I think I probably lean Planetarium on this one. I, I think I lean that way, too. It's so simple, but, mm. I mean, it has that photorealism going that I just... Oh. Again, that... that I, I, I know I've been harping on this. I didn't realize it was... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that Red font, Mysterium. That font on Planetarium is perfect. I mean, it is perfect. It is. But gosh, I, 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 whoa, I do love Mysterium too, though. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. And the vote goes to. Mysterium. I'm guessing Mysterium. I'm guessing, I'm guessing Is that Mysterium. Is that your vote too? On the two? It's... I don't know. I'm good either way. Wow. Wow. What? That's that's amazing. That's Talk really about a contrast surprising. we're gonna have for Even a final. Spelled, it's winning. That's yes. fantastic. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you write the polls. Planetarium. You did very well, Tom. Okay, you only misspelled uh, one letter. Mm -hmm. Our final match, which what? I'm not changing the spelling for. Okay. Okay. Is Planetarium. Uh -huh. Against Everdell. Done. Right. Now, I'm not putting the poll up till we all have a chance to talk about it. Then we'll put the poll up and watch it. Okay. 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 So, let's show them side by side and give your final opinions here. What is the name it's of this? It's 40 and 15. What was the name of this that. show? I mean, Board I game covers. Seven. Which is going to be my, which is gonna be my argument. Size. But you go ahead, yeah. It's most beautiful board game covers. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to make a point. No, I think I, the point is uh, Linus Rising got robbed. I think that was the point. <laughs> I will tell you there are there are multiple covers I think are, are prettier than anything we've had on here. But um, oh my, uh, I'm just I'm saying, having a mic put together. The, I'm just oh, oh, Roy, what are you hue? doing? Do you need a different color to make it better? Oh, yeah, we should have gone some dark. Yeah, I think again going back to that board game covers. Everdell is bringing you into the board game. It's striking mm. graphically, it's striking visually with the artistically, and it's selling a world. That's a board game I want to open. Planetarium is engaging. I want to see yeah. it. I'm like that. I want to keep looking at that piece of art. But mm. a board game, I want to know more about Everdell. And Everdell does it pulls off a really tricky thing where it is an animal forest scene without looking generic. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a generic look. I think that is very specific to this world, and I think it's pretty darn impressive. So you want to know something interesting? The artists for Everdell, there's two artists, mm -hmm. Andrew Bosley right. and Dan May. Right. Mm -hmm. Two artists for Planetarium, Dan May and his brother. Um, oh, Greg. Wow. Greg. Yeah, interesting. I just, I just wow. looked this up because That is wow. fascinating. The two top. Wow. Dan, May a, Dan May was involved with the uh, artwork for Nothing Personal. Oh, ah, okay. Wow. wow. That's very interesting. I'm happy that it's come down to this too. This is bizarre. 
Yeah. I anticipate Everdell to win by a mile, unfortunately. But Planetarium is, is so very good. One one little detail we've not yet said about Planetarium, that little strip of light. Oh, yeah. Coming the, around. Oh, yeah. the flare, the, sol the, the that that flare. solar flare. Yeah. Yeah. It is amazing. Yep. I, th I think, I think Camilla's your point is correct, though, that Everdell is... Well, here we go. The poll is launched. All right, here we go. Let's see. Here we go. So what I'm hearing, Dom, is that Dan May just may be the greatest board game artist of all time. Well, I gotta be careful on that. I'm not. No, that's yeah, what you're yeah. saying. That's what you're. Yeah. I'm not saying nothing to people. I'm no, saying. You're saying that. You're <laughs> saying uh, Andrew Bosley. Who? That's what you're yeah. saying. Two ends. You're Dan, saying. Um, hey, no. Why we're watching? Detroit, what? <laughs> That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just bitter about it. You know, you know Mrs. Detroit's my Ian favorite Ooh. artist. Yeah. Yeah, and there's some other, you know, like like the Meat Show is one of my favorite I was like artists. Watching a bad the, Super Bowl. the covers are not usually the, the thing that yeah. are, you know what I mean? The Fields of Fame expansion. For Raiders of the North Sea is one of my it's favorite great. covers. It of is great. Time. Yeah, that's true. That is way a great better than cover. even the original it is. box. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like this one's going to be a pretty clear winner. Um. Yeah. Yep. 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 I do want. Someone said, "I wonder what the contest between Everdell and Mysterium would have looked like." It's funny that Mysterium got knocked out last round. Yeah. He just did, but. Mm -hmm. I. I would have a harder time, I think, between those two. Here's the thing. First of all, every every artist on this thing, congratulations. I yes. think all oh, these yeah, games yeah. look great. And yeah. I like the fact that we we have an industry where, I mean, almost every time we talk on our news each week, I'm like, love that cover. Love yep. that cover. Love that cover. We just yeah. go through that over and over and over again. Yes. Um, and yes, again, I know there's lots that we didn't put in there. But maybe next time I put a poll up, you'll participate. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom! I gotta think of more of these. I do like the voting aspect. I think yeah. they're fun to do. We don't want to do them all the time because Roy will die. It is interesting um, voting, ver voting versus ranking because again, first round, some of the things that not knocked out, I think, would have been higher than these. I four. agree. You know? Yeah, so I agree. Some of those things that got knocked out in the first round, I think, were stronger than later mm -hmm. ones. That's just the that's the way these Wait, yeah. polls work. Say the game, Z. Which one do you have? Say it. Atlantis okay. Rising. Mm, for most of T's, they got robbed. Yeah. <laughs> for most of T, I think I'm I'm very happy it got as far as it did. It's I, the dark I horse. Seth says time thing. to write a four paragraph comment about the result. Yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, we appreciate everybody coming along for the ride. We appreciate everybody. We'll be back live tomorrow morning playing uh, Tainted Grail, the new version of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that will be at ten o'clock. We also have other videos that went up today, and we'll be going up tomorrow. Check them out. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delisio. I'm Camilla Clyghorn. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Chris Yee. Have fun drawing. <laughs>